What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Happy Thursday. It's the 26th, 2023, January. Uh, what's going on, Van Bosky? We got Brandon Eichmeyer, Tom Kelly, Watchdog, Channing Hensley, George Tack, Jordan Kenny, Jessica, Watchdog. We got Raging Skull, Earl McGraw, Duane Baker, Joey Sanford, Tyler Lowry, Natron 1000, Joshua Lefevere, Nicholas Sager, Devon Fee. We got Chad Carlson, Joshua Hoffman, Tom Kelly, Fred Murphy, Don Stokes, and Kevin Wilson. Bam and Nation is in here as well. What's going on? It's Octopic is in here. Homer Rice. What's up, Homer? Joey Sanford and uh, everybody else that's in here. Welcome to the show. We are on uh, one of my favorite maps. Old school Pennsylvania by uh, Wilt Welt Modding Bernie. Uh, such a good map. Such a stinking good map. Uh, not all the tractors are this loud. This specific mod is a little louder than some of the others. So I'm not going to mess with the volume. We're almost done cutting this fe grass field here. Yeah, check this old uh, International out. Isn't that thing beautiful? It's beautiful. It's very nice. And we got the little sickle bar, case sickle bar hooked up to it. So we got a lot of new tractors to show you guys tonight. A lot of new uh, old track. Well, not new. They're old. Old school new tractors that you might not have seen before. That I haven't used before. So I got a nice uh, variety tonight. But first off, we're going to get this cut. Then we'll uh, get it uh, windrowed. I got a field that needs manure and slurry put on it. So yeah, we got all kinds of little chores to do tonight. Might prune some of those uh, dead leaves off the grape vines up, up there. The dead leaves taken off. Yeah, we got all kinds of little chores. What's up, Tony Martig? Jasmine, hello. Brandon. I love old school night. Me too. Me too. Uh, what's up, Floyd Sticking? Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite 80s tractor? Oh, uh, probably Case. Like a Case 86 series. I love using that mod. The 86 Case International. Yeah. All 80s. Gleaner. I like the old Gleaner Harvester, which we'll be using tonight. Um, yeah, we got all kinds of fun fun uh, machines to use tonight on uh, Pennsylvania map. What's up, Chad Carlson? Coming in with the $10 Super Chat. This is a little something to get the powder started. Thanks for all the content. That's Chad Carlson. Come on down. Uh, thank you very much, Chad. Thank you for the super chat. The $10 super chat. Hope everybody's doing splendid today. Look at, the, look at the interior on this. Got the three knobs over there. Just old school iron right here. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It is quite loud, but I'm not complaining. It's like a good loud. I don't mind hearing the sound of an old tractor sounds nice. Yep. A few more swipes and we'll have this all done. Uh, what's up, Adam McCaskill? Who made it here first? I actually tried tonight. Not easy to do. I didn't catch who was first in the chat. I apologize. I was making sure my uh, my audio was good. So I didn't, I didn't catch who was the first one in here or the first 10 people in here. I missed it. It's usually Duan. Duan's usually first. Uh, what's up, Justin Abeta? Good evening, sir. Ivan Dockery and Adam Groves, welcome to the show. Watchdog was first. Yeah, see? Watchdog, he, he has been very, very active lately, so... We got, we got some competition on who gets in here first. It's usually Duan. Duan's usually the first guy most of the time. He's got a very high percentage of being the first in the chat. Hello, Anne McPherson. Off to make some supper. Ooh, what you making for supper? Huh? Huh? We had Seasons of Japan. We, we ate out on the way home. My son had a, an away basketball game tonight. They got pummeled, unfortunately. They got destroyed. Uh, we were missing our, our big man. And when I say big, he's, like, super tall. He gets blocks and rejections, and he's a very good defensive player. He didn't make the game, and one of our uh, three-point shooters didn't make the game. So we were a little 
we were hurting a little bit on firepower. So, sadly, we got annihilated. <laughs> uh, I would have been first, but I hit the like button. Hey, you're the first to hit the like button. That'll work. What's up, Earl McGraw? Good evening, Kevin Flores. My day was all right. I feel bad for my, my son. It's, it's never fun getting destroyed in sports. And, and that's what happened tonight. But he did good. He scored more than half our team's points. So he did good. And uh, some of the other kids did good. But like I said, we were missing some very important pieces of the puzzle that make our team a good team. <laughs> they were not there, so it was a little rough. But it, it, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it now. So all done cutting the grass already on that side. I think we'll uh, get the uh, slurry put down on this field right in front of me. Ooh. I guess we're not going to park that where I thought we were going to park it. This thing does not like to back up fast. I'll just kind of drop this. Like right about here, I guess. Wait till you see what's behind these doors. Oh, we got some goodies back there. All right, so the next surprise tonight is a, a little gift, an early gift from uh, a friend, Mr. Pleasant View. Uh, he was kind enough to let me test this bad boy out. Oh my goodness! Oh, I've been I've been waiting all day to fire this thing up. It's a Alice Chalmers D21. D21 by the one and only Pleasant View Farms. Uh, he's a modder, and uh, you guys have seen him in the chat lately. And there he is, Pleasant View Farms. <laughs> Showing off to Alice there, sir. Getting ready to throw some manure on the field with it. But uh, we got some diamond front tires on there. We got the, we got, it's just a pretty, pretty tractor. How many of you have ever uh, seen or maybe had the pleasure of driving one of these in real life? Let's get it fired up. We got the flapper exhaust up here. Nice air filter at front. Look at the nice little chrome texture on the front grill. Got the Alice logos, the filters, oil filters, all, all that good stuff. So we're gonna spread some turds on the, on the field here to get started. There we go. She looks legit spreading, spreading manure. <laughs> nice, love it, says farming for real. Isn't that thing sweet? Man, that looks nice. So we're probably going to run out of manure, and I'm going to have to switch over to slurry, which is no biggie. We got tons of slurry. We just don't have a whole lot of manure left. Uh, we used a bunch of manure, I think, last time we were on this map. So I'm probably not going to be able to cover the whole field with this trailer full because this wasn't even a full trailer but we'll get the job done for a little bit kicking it out there we'll at least almost get a, a headland done oh, she's about to run out in a few little spots here. There we go. But uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me uh, try this out. I do appreciate it, man. All right, so that is empty. We're going to switch over to uh, Slurry. Uh, Pleasant View Farms, awesome job. That thing looks sweet. It looks sweet, doesn't it? What's up, Dustin Favor? Uh, we got Mr. Fire Slaying says, I smell Pulu. That's right. We'll put the lights on here. So the lights are on the side of the back fenders there. The high beams. Horn. We'll get out and take a show you. Zoom in here on the filters there. It's even got the Alice Chalmers logo. Nice and crisp and clear. I love, the, I love the wheels, man. I love the rims. And there's different settings. You can do a lot of different, well, not a ton of setups, but you get you get some customization too. Yeah, look, look behind there. 
Got a little filter way back in there, too. Good stuff. But I love the flapper exhaust. You can put a chrome exhaust on there if you want, but I, I kind of prefer the old, uh, the old flapper. The old flapper whapper. All right, now we'll go from solid to liquid. There we go. You might think that looks too big. Nah. This tractor can handle it. This tractor can handle it. I don't know what the width on the slurry is going to be. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right. Let's get some slurry spreading going on here. Uh, Frosty, can you give a brief description on the levels? Uh, they're actually all explained right in my channel. You just go to my channel and go to the membership tab and it, it explains all of it, buddy. That's the easiest way to do it. Is just go check that out real quick. Right right, right on my channel. I like seeing the fan spin. You like that, don't you? Ain't nothing like spreading duty in the afternoon. That's right. I know you're right, driver. Oh, yeah. Slurry's uh, getting that double application down. Well, you can do double. I don't know if I have it set up for double. Do I? Check here. Nah, we're not going to do double application. Just going to stick to the single. We're dropping them slurry pies all over the field here. This will be perfectly fertilized and ready to plant something in it. We're on seasons, so I don't think we're going to be able to plant anything in November. So we'll probably just have to kind of leave the field be, but at least it'll be all set up and ready for uh, planting season in the spring. Try not to splash any on you there. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, this tractor's awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Pleasant View. And uh, I don't know when he plans to make it private. He Or not private, public. Uh, I believe he will make it public in the future once he's, like, done making it all the way he likes it, I think. Because he does have his own uh, itch.io site where you can get his other tractors. He's got the Alice. Uh, we'll be using one of his other tractors tonight. He's got the Gleaner Harvester. We'll be using that tonight as well. Uh, also on the Mod Hub today... Uh, EY modding release that McCormick. Oh baby, we'll be uh, we'll be rocking that tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm either gonna windrow or tether. I might do some tethering with it. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's that's a nice new tractor added to the mod hub. Split splash. I was taking the bath. What's up, Turbo? Turbo FS in the house. All right, sitting at 29%. Should be enough to get this covered. Uh, the server up and running for uh, some of the Tier 3 members were asking about the server. I went in and reset it. Hopefully it's all working for you guys. I think G Portal had a shutdown or something because I did not touch the server. But I'm thinking G Portal turned it off did maintenance and then I had to go in and restart it or something. But hopefully it's working for you. Roast garlic chicken. Oh, roast garlic chicken. Very nice. That sounds pretty good. All right, this is looking very juicy. Our field is drenched in slurry. It's even got a little bit of manure on it. So some of the field is 100%. Not all of it, but it's good. It's got a lot of fertilizer on there. We'll go uh, top off the tank so it's ready for next time. That is it for the slurry. This tr this trailer looks a little overkill for the tractor, but actually it's not. Uh, there's plenty of horsepower to pull it. You zoom in, you can actually see the slurry fill up in these tanks. You ready? We get close enough. There we go. Oh, yeah. Fill that bad boy out. <laughs> Even the little uh, measuring stick pushes up. 
super super detail on this uh, slurry tank. See, now she's struggling just a little bit, but not too bad. There's another one of the Alice's by Pleasant View. We'll be uh, doing something in that, I bet, at some point. Probably hauling the grain carts. Right. So slurry has been completed. Uh, I was voted off the server, says John. No. No, nobody can be voted off. Well, actually they could. Uh, slap that like button, folks. One in 87 chance to win a bag of cotton candy, says Ronnie Gold. One in an 87 chance to win a bag of cotton candy. I can't remember the last time I've even had, eaten, ate, had, indulged in cotton candy. It's been a moment. It's been a while. I kind of want to just keep using this tractor. Dang it. I got all these other tractors to use, but man, I've been uh, excited to hop in this thing and do some work. Nice. You know what? Let's let's go do just a couple more chores with it. We do need water. Gonna need to water the uh, Angus cows. So might as well go top off and give us a few more uh, miles in the new tractor. Has your son had any basketball games this week? Yes, he had one tonight. And they got smoked. They got destroyed. Yes. And then next week, he's got three games. It's actually the last three games of the season. He's got uh, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursday's a tournament. So we'll see what happens. Where can I find the D21? It is private at the moment. Pleasant View is kind enough to let me uh, show it off. He's still working on it. There's still things I think he wants to uh, finish on it before it's uh, released. Fire feller, hush. What's fire feller saying? I was kicked off the server. Wait, that. Oh, yeah, that was me. I kicked you off. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You'd be the only questionable one we'd kick off. I'm kidding. Am I kidding? I don't know. Uh, we play tomorrow on Saturday, says Ryan. Nice. Well, good luck. Good luck. I know Bama Nation, his daughter, was in uh, tournament playoffs, and I think they won the last one. Hello, Miss Farslane. Uh, Tom Kelly, hello. Ice Dragon, what's going on there, sir? Andy Anderson in the house. Hello, hello. I'm doing good, Bradley. Hope you're doing well. Just going to water the Angus cows real quick. We're in the month of November. I've spent a bunch of money, and I'll show you why. We have new animals to go visit tonight at some point. But uh, first things first, let's take care of the animals we already own. Go. All right. And that's all. That's all the watering we needed to do. Those are the only animals over here that need watered, I think. Yeah, we don't have to water the dairy cows. So they are good to go. Get this trailer dropped off. And we also got a milk delivery to do later this evening. We got the milk truck. Uh, we got some new equipment. I, I swapped out some stuff. All old equipment. We have no modern tractors. Last time we were on here, we had like a T7 or a T5 or T6 new haul. I can't remember which one it was, but it was like modern. No modern stuff anymore. This is all uh, old school tractors now. All right. Sadly, we got to say goodbye to you just for a little bit. I'll come back later. I will not leave you here alone for too long. Okay. All right. We need to do some tattering. Um, tattering, tattering, tattering. Let's go grab one of my new tractors. 
Oh, but it's heaven in here. I tell you what. I really have... I don't even know what to do. I really don't know what to do. There's so many good options here for tethering. Uh, we got a farm all. We got the brand new McCormick that just got added. Uh, we have a, an old uh, lands. We got a nice little Ford 3600. And we got an old Oliver Super 88. So, uh... Hmm. I just don't know which one to pick. I don't know which one I want to pick right there. Uh, good evening, Jason Schisla, Johnny Depp. How's Amber Heard doing? Uh, you're always working. I miss Uncle Van Booski. He's right there. He's right in front of you. What's up, Isaiah? My Zeus videos. Hello. Uh, we also have Liam S. 24-7 uh, is working. Just got off of it. Thank All right. So it's working. Good, 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 good. I missed you, Chris Taylor. I think. How you doing? What's up, WD40 in the chat? Frosty, have you had the when you play an ATS question yet? Every day. Every single day. Yes. And the answers didn't have no desire to. Uh, the international. I had breakfast for dinner. But I, I love breakfast for dinner. But we had, uh, I had an orange chicken bowl with noodles. I mean, we're, we can't go wrong with any of these. I kind of want to hop into this first. We're going to probably use all these at some point. But I kind of want to hop into the new one by e EY Modding. It's the McCormick Super W4. Not WD, W4. That beast. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I love these old tractors, man. Mm. Ah, it's so nice. Those big old fat tires on the rear end. All right, so we're going to turn the field that we just cut into hay bales because I'm running low on hay bales. I need hay to make TMR. I need hay to feed the Angus cows. So we'll get on it. Like a low rider. Yeah, yo. I <laughs> love it. Got all kinds of cool stuff on this farm now. Hopefully we can squeeze through the little bridge here. Oh yeah, easy. I also knocked down like five big old trees. There was so much shade covering this field. I wanted more sunlight to hit it. So I went ahead and uh, cut some big trees down over there. You can still see there's a big block of shade there from a couple pine trees, but there was pine trees all along that side and it was just, the whole field was dark. And I didn't want that. I want sunlight on my field. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Come on, baby. You got enough horsepower for that. Don't be don't be shy. Come on. I said come on. <laughs> Alright, I know that has enough horsepower. I, I double checked, I thought. Alright, Tedder. You might be switching tractors, dang it. Uh, garage. Header require... It only requires 25 horsepower, bro. 25 horsepower. And my little tractor... Has 30 horsepower. That's plenty. What's the dealio? Oh, you little turd. Maybe I just gotta get a running head start. Manual shift. Ah! It's not working, guys. Dang it! You little... Mm. Alright. I guess we'll have to use McCormick for something else, like the little, the little baby planter or something. That's disappointing. Dang it. Uh, Frosty, have you ever used a mod where you can upgrade your products? I've seen the mod. I've, I've never used it, though. But I know what you're talking about. It's where you can upgrade your productions. I think 
that's what you meant to say. Yeah, I've seen it. But, uh, no, I, have, I haven't messed with it. Alright, so that's strike one for tractor choice. And it says it has enough power. So that's a little disappointing. Uh, let's try old Oliver. <laughs> let's try old Oliver out. Yes. I don't have to flip over with those little twin duels on the front. I know this has enough power. This thing's turboed up, man. <laughs> Use the black one. We'll we'll be using everything at some point. Uh, what's up, Paul Edward Detweiler? Them old metal spring seats will make for a sore behind at the end of the day. Uh, we, we got destroyed, Jason. Yeah, my son's team got destroyed. It was one of those games. But he, he handled it like a champ. He didn't let it get to him. Now, oh, there we go. Like it's nothing. That's what I'm talking about. All right, old Oliver could handle it. There we go. Yeah, but it's a five horsepower left to move it, says Todd. I know. <laughs> yeah, the McCormick would have looked cool uh, pulling this, but actually, this has like a 5.6 meter uh, width work, work width to it. It kind of looks nice with the Oliver. It almost looks like it's meant to be. It's a very nice looking combo right there. Good old Oliver. Woo! Pretty. All right, so we'll get this all tethered. And then uh, we'll pick out one of the other ones for some wind rowing. We'll just mix it up. We'll use a little bit of all the new tractors. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Marvin Martian. Do you live in Florida? No, who? Mambuski doesn't live in Florida. Uh -uh. Just wondering if it is. So, thanks. Yeah, I think uh, Stearman mentioned that one before, too. But I've never tried the uh, leveled up productions. Has anybody in the chat tried that mod? There's a mod on the mod hub that supposedly lets you upgrade your productions. Like, level them up. Just curious if anybody's used them before. Definitely a perfect match. It looks so nice together, doesn't it? Really nice. Beautiful November day. Is that what it is? November? Yes, November. November. I'm going to Sarasota for a month, end of February. Ooh, baby. That'll be a nice break from Ohio, huh? <laughs> it's cool, says Matt Cornish. You've used it. Devon's used it. Good evening, Frosty, my nephew, who we lost in 2017. He won a state championship in wrestling. 2014 wrestler one of the uh, one of the kids that are part of the carpool I take all these kids home we all take the parents take turns um, the one kid's a wrestler he's he's like a 11 or 12 years old I think he's about 12 years old and from what I hear, he's pretty darn good at it, too. He's a skinny, lanky, scrawny little kid, but he's just... He's a very good wrestler, from what I hear. This really uh, spreads it out onto the... the gravel path over there.
doing great. Look at the detail on the steering wheel. I like that. Looking tractor. <clears throat> Did you say there was a mod to upgrade factories? Uh, yeah, it's on the mod hub. I've never used it. Uh, some other people were just talking about it. I've never used it though. Yes, sir. All right, that didn't take long at all. This uh, tether just got added to the mod hub as well. I don't want to say the wrong name. Mm. Tired iron? No. Did tired iron make this uh, tired iron modding? Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Yeah, if anybody knows for sure who made that uh, tether. I feel like it's, or maybe it was Lazy. Maybe it was Lazy H. Might be Lazy H. What's up, Rabbit Rob? What's going on, man? How are your summers there? Hot. Hot and sweaty. But I like it like that. That mod is PC only, though. All the uh, upgrade your factories. It is a Vermeer, but it's also a mod by, by, I think it's by Lazy. What's up, Kyle Foster? Sean the White Side, hello. Forgot we had a little more juice in this tractor. I was cruising at like eight mile an hour. I put the hammer down, baby. Gets up and gets going. All right, now we got to do a little bit of wind rowing. And I think I want to get right back into the Alice. I already miss Alice. I re I really been excited to use Alice. So, uh, yeah, let's go grab that tractor next. But I'm digging Oliver. This thing's a beast. Very nice tractor. lights off all right yeah I, I, I miss Alice I want more Alice <laughs> where'd she go there she is so pretty mm. so pretty just checked it's lazy e you know your stuff I thought it was lazy there we go thank you sir thank you for the confirmation I just wasn't wasn't a hundred percent sure but I was I thought it was yeah, it goes up to a uh, five point like six meter width, which is awesome because three is a little small. But it's nice to have the uh, bigger choice in size too. Right, we're gonna go wind row up the uh, hay. Uh, what's up, Big Daddy Frost? What's up, Chris Lynch? I started a new farm this week. The map is w Walker or Welker. You mean Welker? I've never heard of Walker, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's one called Walker. But I have heard of Welker. That's the huge, the huge map. I think Welker, is Welker Iowa? I can't remember. Bad boy unfolded. And <laughs> we, we need to get it back in onto the field. We made quite a mess. Oh, knocked over the sign already. A 
What's the purpose of the green bat wing brush hog? Uh, we'll be doing some mulching with it. it. It can be for cutting grass or mulching. But I have it set up for mulching. I got a field down yonder, down over past that field across the highway that needs mulched. It's an old sorghum field with tall old stubble and weeds all infested. We're going to go mulch that later tonight. And look how much that tether threw all this stuff out into the field. Way out onto the uh, alleyway. Made a big old mass. Alright, let's try to get start neating it up a little bit. Try to get some straight lines out of here. Me and Junior will be at Royal Rumble Saturday. We're stout. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. I've never been to a wrestling match, like a WWE or never been to any of those. I imagine it would be uh, full of energy. want to bring this off the road one more time get it closer into the field it's an easy I don't really want to be bailing on a gravel path there go. that'll work I suppose We'll do the old back and forth. I've been a few of them back during the Velocity era. The Velocity era. There we go. Good evening, Mandy McKinley. WWE... I, uh, yeah. Uh, down yonder way, well, I'll swanny old people talk. That's right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anthony's Playhouse. Hello, hello. Scott Brown, how's it going there? Steven Schrader. Welker is from Shelby, Montana. Montana. Thank you, sir. Montana. Is that the one you're talking about, Bradley? Where's Bradley? Uh, well, you're on Welker. Yeah, we actually tried Welker for uh, our mem a member's farm. It didn't last long. We got a little bored of it. This is too flat and plain. Um, but yeah. Fields are enormous. If you're looking for some monster fields and use the big equipment, then you'll probably love it. But for me, it just wasn't enough eye candy on that map. I, I like to have things to look at around me. We should be like grassland maniacs, professionals. All the bailing we've done lately, we bail a lot. <laughs> the next 30 minutes liking this stream is free, says Ronnie. You're silly. You're silly. Frosty, liking the music tonight. Thank you. That's the good old country station on uh, Epidemic Sounds. Should only need maybe two more swipes. There's a good look at the old Alice in action here. Lovely tractor. I'll definitely be uh, throwing that on Ashton Corners too. Oh yes. That's gonna look good on Ashton. Such a nice tractor. There's not enough Alice equipment out there to use, so. Super uh, thankful that 
Pleasant trusted me to let me uh, show it off a little bit. Right. A nice chunky swipe here. Should just about clean everything up good enough for me, huh? Yeah. The rest can be uh, grabbed with the baler. Perfect. Uh, yes, but I zero my money out, so all I have is a pickup truck. There you go. Survival series, baby. Uh, I did record today. I still have to do all the editing, but episode 12... I think that's what we're on. Episode 12 has been recorded. I just Tonight, after this stream, I'll probably... Uh, stay up for a while and get it all edited, uploaded, and that'll be ready to watch on Saturday. And I'm hoping I'll find the time to get another episode recorded so you guys can do what you did last week and watch Saturday and Sunday night. Watch a new episode each night. That's the plans. It's just whether or not I can accomplish it in time. The days of the week just go so stinking fast. You know? It goes so fast. Like, before you know it, you're out of time. All right, we're going to do some bailing. So here's our uh, handy-dandy baler. Uh, you tell me, chat. Do you want to do... Do you want to do white farm equipment? You want... Well, this is called the uh, field boss. So put it in the chat. You want to do Field Boss or do you want to do Alice to uh, do the bailing with? Those are your two choices. Field Boss or the Alice Chalmers. <sighs> Thought that was why you kept Gumby around. I try. I try. <laughs> your, lives, your lives keep a gr I know. I know. We've been doing awesome lately. Can't thank everybody enough. Episode, I think it's 11. I think you're right, Cody. Yeah, so 11 and 12 is my goal this week. Alice, Alice, Alice. Good enough for me. I don't need to see anymore. We got three Alices in a row. This is uh, also by Pleasant View. This one you can get right now. If you're on PC, you can go get this tractor from his itch.io site. I don't know if Duan or Steerman or Stevie, if you're able to, could you put uh, Pleasant Views itch.io site in the chat so people can go check it out and see what kind of tractors he has for you to use. There it is. Plenty of horsepower to operate the baler here. We're not making wrapped bales. We're just making some uh, hay bales. The dials got torn out because this tractor's old. I, I, you know, the grandkids, they didn't need to see how fast everybody was driving, so we just ripped them out. All right, let's get this thing unfolded. I think it already is unfolded. Lower, activate, bada bang, bada boom. Right. Hopefully we get a, at least a few bales out of here. I think I can keep rolling with this baler. I think this is another one where you can keep on rolling. I might be wrong. I am wrong. All right, so you do have to uh, wait. And when we hear the buzzer, we gotta stop, which is fine. Look at all those Alice's. Duane, you really got something. That that black one would not even be able to pull this baler. It wouldn't be able to even handle it. 
But we, we have another field that'll need cut later tonight. So, yeah. The black one will be used. Just hold on to your britches, all right? Hold on to your britches. I got two bales out of there already. This might be true as well, Tony. Six bales, says Abraham. You think? Six? You already made two. I think we'll get maybe seven or eight. But I'm not sure. It was a fully, fully fertilized field, too. And I think we're only making 125 bales, like the size. She's almost full. Nice. Mandy McKinley. Thank you for the 999 super chat. That is Mandy McKinley. Come on down. Thank you, Mandy. Hope you and the family are doing well. Is Johnny in here? I haven't seen Johnny. Has he, has he said hello in the chat? If he did, I missed it. Johnny, are you listening? Almost made another one. What do we got? One, two, three. About to pop out four. Oh, yeah. I think we'll get about eight. Eight bales, maybe. Just ran over a sign. I'm on the big screen, George. Nice. Turn on the automatic drop. I got it on, Drew. Chase. Relax, bruh. Yeah, we got it on. Look at that thick swath. Beautiful. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. Maybe there won't be eight. <laughs> it was looking promising there for a minute. No, I just stink now. that bio. Good evening, Jimmy Cox. Hello. He's working on a video in the studio. Gotcha, gotcha. Figured he was busy. Because usually if he's not busy, he's in here talking. So. Yeah, a lot of, lot of uh, Alice votes. There's a few of you said boss. Um, I'm sure we'll fire up the boss to do something. So don't think we're not going to use it. Got plenty of chores to do tonight. I, I'm not. I'm not offended by uh, all the Alice tractors we got on this farm. I am perfectly okay with that. It's looking good, man. Three, four, five, six. Oh, come on, give me one more bale. At least get me sort of close to what I was guessing, huh? Hopefully we can spit one more out. Come on, baby. One more. Come on. Come on. Oh, you punk. Ah. Gotta be enough to spit one more out, right? All right, turn off Baylor. Ah, uh, we were at 66%. It just wasn't meant to be, I guess. We got six bales out of there, so whoever guessed six. Uh, who said six? Uh, Abraham Mendez. Right on the money. Six bales. I think that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Hang up, Bobby. 
That's not really that great. It's not as good as I was hoping. Kind of a biscuit. That'll have to do, huh? All right, so bailing done with that. Baler parked up. I might, I might have to do another batch of hay tonight. Cause we're hurting on hay. We're fine on silage. We got silage and storage, and I don't think that's something we got to worry about. All right, now we can hop in the boss. Nice guess. What did you have for dinner, says Matthew? What's up, Jeff Freed? I'm doing good, Daniel Ricard. Hello, Richard Hollenbeck. Hello. What is the alley that pleasant scent? Uh, it's the the D. Where is it? The, uh, the D21, I believe, is what it's called. It's right over here. Yeah, we've already been playing around on it. Yeah, there she is. She's sitting there nice and pretty in the weeds. Letting, letting, letting her cool down a little bit. Um, bale trailer, bale trailer. Yeah, those are all silage bales in storage there. I don't need wrapped bales. I need hay bales. To, uh, make TMR, and I got a TMR mixer on this uh, this map. You know what? Let's just grab this guy. Do a little bit of uh, manual loading. There's only six of them. We'll run this over to the farm. It's stuck on my. This trailer is bouncing around like a maniac. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, my, my frosty, my uncle had his total hip surgery on Tuesday. That went good, but a long surgery. Now it's going to be a long road to recovery. <sighs> yeah, the hips, hip surgery, leg surgery, knee surgery. Those are all scary. Sur uh, this, this trailer's jacked up, man gotta get rid of that. That thing is doing all kinds of weird stuff. Alright, we need to buy a, a new one real quick. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with that. What's up, RJ Holiday? My kiddos are really sick, so I gotta deal with that. You don't have to deal with it. Just gotta, gotta comfort them. That's what you meant to say, right? <laughs> uh, hopefully they feel better. And Alan, hopefully he recovers and, uh, Quicker than longer, uh, not too much pain. Bale trailers. Let's see here. I don't really have a whole lot of money to blow on bales. On trailers, I mean. Oh, we have another trailer. Never mind. We got another trailer. It's uh, sitting back by the canola field. Yep, 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 yep. We'll go grab that real quick. And we'll just grab that. I think something wrong with that trailer. It's doing the hippity hoppity. It's doing something. Yeah, we had to sell it. I don't know what was wrong with it. <laughs> but uh, I have a John Deere wagon sitting down here we can snag. Use it. A little platform trailer, but it'll get the job done. There we go. 
Lovely. That's handling much better than the other one. Other than how heart margarine is February for six. What? Are you talking about, Jeff? What the heck did you just say? There you go, watchdog. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, Jeff. I'm sorry. I don't know what that meant, buddy. Whatever you're trying to say uh, didn't go through the typing fingers very well. Fresh field of hay, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I gotta run back and get a uh, front loader. I think we got two options. I think I have. Yeah, ooh, we could just use this guy. We'll use our little John Deere. Our little, our little skid steer here. We'll get the job done. Brother has a a harder moaner morning. I, I don't. I don't know. I still don't know. Daryl Blevins, hello, brother. How's Daryl doing today? Sorry, Jeff. I just, I just can't tell what you're trying to say, brother. Let's put him in like this. Five hundred liters in each of these big mama bales right here. Your brother is going to have a heart monitor put in. All right, whew. That took a few tries, but we got it figured out. All right, Jeff. Um, I'll be thinking of your brother there, buddy. I'm sorry, I could not tell what the heck you were trying to say. But uh, hopefully the surgery goes well. Having a heart monitor put in. Uh, my gr my grandmother, she had one of those put in. Uh, they messed up. They messed up when they were putting that in, and had to put it on the other side of her chest. And uh, yeah, so that didn't go very well. But I'm hoping it goes a lot smoother for your brother than it did my grandma. They they jacked her up. What's up, James Azine? Trying to hit it right in the middle. There you go. First person's a little rough. Bum, bum. Hello, Diane. How are you? Doing good. Just been playing in the snow. Ah, doing some trucking in the snow, huh? I just been doing some farming. Yeah, son had a basketball yeah. game today. Other than that did some recording for the survival series today uh, tested out the new tractor pleasant view uh, let me borrow to show you guys got the farm set up you know the usual but no snow in uh, Carolina Daryl I am not dealing with any snow <laughs> I am fine with that I 
Uh, RK Holy Cross coming in with the ten dollars super chat says when someone tells you it's the same difference, could that also mean the same similarities? Just asking for a friend. Hope you're doing well, Frosty. When someone tells you it's the same difference, could that also mean the same similarities? I'd I'd say yes. If it's the same difference, it's the same similarity. That's what I would say, yeah. Sounds good to me. Right? Sounds good to me. All right, what do we got? One more bail. We're gonna fit on that trailer just perfect. Probably get to uh, drop some slurry on this grass field, too. Get it fertilized for next time. Whoop. Just lovely. Is this not letting me uh, strap him down? What the heck, man? You ain't gonna let me strap it down like that? Alrighty. Guess we can't strap it down. We just have to drive extra careful. We'll just drive extra careful here, huh? What's up, mouse? I meant different similarities. My bad. I toasted that joke. It's okay. I still liked it. Uh, this reminds me of Splash Mountain at Disney, which is now closed for good. Huh? What what reminds you of Splash Mountain? That field of the the the, the, the hay bales? What, George? I'm getting confused tonight. There are some confusing things going on in the chat. How does that remind you of Splash Mountain at Disney? I'm, I'm, uh... Uh, thank you, James Mitchell, for subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much, Lottie. I do appreciate you. Now, we're gonna park these right here. Because we're gonna fill up my little mixer. And we have another tractor we can do that with that has, uh... A bale spike, and that's our little John Deere. Yeah, he knows how to do that stuff. Good evening, Brett Hershey. Hello. And hello, James. Thank you again, James. Uh, hi, Frosty. You drop one, Frosty? Did I drop one? What? The, what? I'm so I'm, I'm struggling. I don't know what you guys are talking about tonight. I am so sorry. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Did I drop one? What droppings are we talking about here? I mean, you guys are confusing me to the point where I don't. I'm having trouble functioning. My brain's struggling right now, trying to understand what's going on here. So, yeah. If confusion is what you wanted me to have, you have succeeded. I don't know how many bales it takes to fill that up. I think 30,000 liters. So it might take all these. I don't know. That's why we're going to end up cutting another field tonight. This will do our uh, cow mixer feed. Pop that in there. Like there's still room for them all. Something is wrong with this chat tonight. Must be something in the air. I, that's what I feel like. 
I had a pacemaker put in seven years ago because I had too much sodium in one day and almost died from it. I was only in my 40s. I got FS22, so maybe we can play when I install it. Uh, you'd have to be a Tier 3 member for that. So if you want to join Tier 3, then you would have access to the 24-7 server. Uh, what map is this? Pennsylvania. It's Pennsylvania map by Welt Modding Bernie. It is a PC map only, and it does require the white farm buildings pack, or your barns and sheds will not show up. They will be invisible. They got to make sure you have that installed too. Alright, see? That thing's topped off, baby. Mixer is full of hay, which is great. Which means these are all leftovers. Alright, so we'll get this ran over to uh, the Angus cows. We'll give them a couple bales. Or whatever they'll take. Not sure what they will take or leave or not eat or accept. I just don't know. That is probably true. Yes, you gotta pay to play, bud. Uh, what time is this? What did you have to eat tonight? What did I have to eat tonight? Seasons in Japan. Orange chicken bowl with noodles. How many miles did you walk today? Not much. About two miles. What color is the grass? It's kind of like yellowish green. What is daylight savings time? It's when you save time in the daylight. All right, I answered all the questions. Is there any small maps for console? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Now I'm trying to think of one that would be a nice small starting map. I mean, any map, here, here's how I look at it, any map can, it doesn't matter what the size of the map is. Just go to your main farm. And even if you want to be a small-scale farmer, even if you're on a map like Calmsden or even Welker Farms, turn one field into multiple little fields. But uh, Palawa. Palawa is awesome. How long is a piece of string? That's however long you cut that piece of string tried to trick me, but I was ready. I was ready for that one. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Just kind of driving around. You are purposely trying to confuse me, everybody. I know what's going on. This ain't my first rodeo. I know what you're doing. Let's, let's confuse the crap out of Frosty tonight. All right, so we're gonna go get the uh, hay bale off the wagon and see how much the Angus cows will eat. And this sign, mm, I, I knock it over every time we play on this map. There, it's down in the river now, we don't gotta worry about it. Until next time we load up this uh, game save. Uh, hi Frosty, how you doing today? What's up friend brother? I love it. I'm just messing with you, Frosty. You have to repeat yourself over and over. I couldn't do it. Thank you. It's all good, baby. That's that's when I when I decided to be a streamer. That's like a contract I signed with myself. Was that there will be a lot of uh, repetition with uh, questions, and that's fine. Cause not every that's the that's the beauty of a live stream. Someone might ask a question, but someone else might not have been here. They come in, they might ask the same question. I, I understand that, so I'm not gonna get upset because it's probably more frustrating for the viewer that's been here from beginning to end because they hear me s repeat something who knows how many times. But to me, it doesn't bother me. That's just part of being a streamer. 
All right, they ate that whole bale, baby. Ooh, they were hungry. All right, let's go snag another one. I wonder if those darn things are maxed out on price. I've, I've had them forever. Uh, let's see. Um, ooh, look, some of them, the, the Black Angus are worth 3233 bucks a head. I think they max out, don't they max out at like $3,500, chat? I think. So they're almost at their max worth. 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 Uh, uh, Steve AJ, thank you for the two pound super chat. Yeah, baby! Steve <laughs> AJ. Very much so. Let's slap one more bail on here. All right, two pounds. The pounds, that means you're from the other side of the pond. What area are you from? Are you in the United Kingdom? Are you Welsh? Are you a Welsh dragon? All right, let's see if they eat this entire bale. Yep. I ate the whole darn thing. That's why we're probably gonna have to cut the other grass field I have. All the fields on this map are small. So it won't take long. But no rush. We got we got the uh, the Angus topped off. They might even eat all of this. This is only half a bale here left. About 2,300 liters. Yep, they'll probably eat the whole thing. They will be very happy. They'll be happy to have some delicious hay. Oh, little leftovers. 4%, huh? Eh. I'll just leave that right there, then. That'll be gone probably before the end of the stream. All right, let's start cleaning up our messes. I got stuff laying out all over the place. You're from England? Nice. Uh, Pontus Stenberg. Fruling is a small map on console and PC. And do you want to know a little story, chat? I think I've said it before. Fruling, this map I'm on right now, Pennsylvania, the layout is based off of Fruling. Uh, Welt modding, Bernie, who designed this map, well, designed, edited it. I, I'd call it more of an edit. He asked for permission from whoever made Fruling. I forget who made Fruling. But, uh, yeah. So if you look at the uh, mini map, this is actually almost the same exact layout as Fruling. Your main farm's over here. You got the same type of roads and field layout. Uh, so yeah, it's based off of that. Very good map. Fruling's a very good map. I do enjoy it. This is very nice. Hope I'm not getting that mixed up with the other one. <laughs> I might be. I might be. There's also another map that I might be getting those two confused with. But I think I'm right. I think it's the Fruling. But with a memory like mine, I could be wrong. I'm back. Didn't say I was leaving, but I'm back. Hello and goodbye and hello. What's up, Luke Marshall? How did the game go? Bad. Oh, it was bad. Yeah, my son's team got... Yeah. It was bad. It was not very... It was not very good. Uh, yeah. Final score was 40 to 10. Yeah. It was not good. But my son played his heart out. He did good. He was he, he scored the most on his team. He was scoring and doing his best. Our big man didn't make the game. And one of our other uh, three-point shooters. He, he didn't make the game. He wasn't even there, so we were missing a lot of our top players tonight. But that's, you know, it's how, yeah, that's how sports go. Sometimes it just doesn't, the cookie doesn't crumble the way you'd like it to, right? All right. I think... We are ready to do some harvesting. 
There is sunflower out there that me needs to be attended to. And the old gleaner needs a little action. So therefore, we shall go have a sunflower. Off we go. Got two fields of sunflower to cut tonight. Uh, this map is identical to the other Pennsylvania map. No. This is the Pennsylvania map. At least you can say you kept your cool, though, right, Fro? Yes, I was very quiet at tonight's game. Yeah, I didn't say nothing. Uh, what's up, Sunny531? How are you? It's Freeling? I thought so, Pontus. Yep, it's it's the same layout as Freeling. I streamed Freeling a long time ago. It's a nice map. I had a bunch of uh, foreign, foreign European equipment on it. I forget what Fruling, uh, what country that was based off of, but it's a good map. I recommend it. All right, flashers off. The old gleaners ready for some action. The header turned on, and let's cut some sunflower, baby. Yes. Nice. And once again, this is another piece by uh, Pleasant View Farms. Rocking the old gleaner tonight. Uh, good evening, Frosty Simulation Station. I just want to tell you, thank you for that video you recently made on Ashton Corners. There was a couple little things I was having issues with, and you covered it. So thank you. I, I didn't, I, I didn't figure out the slurry as simple as it should have been to figure out. I couldn't get that darn slugger, uh, slugger, the uh, slurry trigger to work on Ashton Corners. So uh, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to do that tutorial on the map. That's going to be super helpful to people that use Ashton Corners. Good stuff, sir. Bringing in the sunflower. I can't remember the last time I harvested some sunflower. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. And, and I got the other fields right next to the road, so we're just going to cross the street right onto the next part of it. And just do a big old harvest here. Lots of sunflower. The sunflower is going to come in handy because we now are the proud owners of the pigsty on this map, which was not cheap. I had to take out a loan and purchase the land. It's over in a different area. So we'll get to go to the animal dealer tonight and buy some pigs and get them some, some food, which sunflower is one thing they love to eat, and we'll have plenty of it after this harvest. Yes, sir, Bobby. Old gleaner, ugh, the beast. Fruling is a fictional map from Germany. Love it. It, it. It's a very nice map. I like it. any of those maps that require small equipment. I, I like it for some reason. Hmm, look at that beast. Making it look easy. Come on, Daddy. Get that sunflower for you. Come on. Kevin Flores, thank you for the $5 super chat. Says Frosty. If I gave you a dollar for every mod you own, how much would it be? You wouldn't want to send that super chat. Let's just put it, yeah, you wouldn't want to send that super chat. That would be a hard one to send right there. <laughs> it would be a big one. 
Definitely sunny. Yeah, some PC only, baby. PC only. I, I don't even know what to tell you, Kevin. I've got... I literally have five different mod folders that I are labeled for different scenarios, different things I do that I swap in and out of the documents for farm sim. It just depends what maps I'm using, what machinery I'm using. We're talking... I, I'm, I don't know. 78. We're probably pushing 100 gigs of mods overall, which is probably easily... Easily over a thousand mods. But that's not how many I have like activated. That's just how many mods I have. I like to, I like to move things around and use different equipment all the time. <clears throat> Thank you, simulation station. Thank you, sir. Hello, Frosty. Just dropping in really quick to say hello. What's up, Artemis? How's Artemis doing today? Get to bed. You tired? Long day at work, I imagine. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Take it easy. No apologies needed. Uh, sometimes when you play a good basketball game, sometimes the chips don't fall where you want them to. That's right. Yeah, like I said, my son did good. <laughs> the, the rest of the team, eh, questionable. That's all I'm going to say about that. It is a rough game. The, the team we played, they beat us. That's the third time they've beat us. We, we have not been able to beat that team. So. It's just one of those deals. They're just a good team. But uh, he's already excited for next year. He just He's excited to just be a JV player. The team he on, that, they call it the B team right now. And it's more of a building year a year to get yourself ready for JV so he's more excited for JV more competition and more competitive teammates but he's doing his best he's hanging in there Oh, I finally got you added, Simulation. I thought I already added you. I, I've, my memory is just, it's garbage. I can't remember anything. But I did make sure you're added to my recommended channels, Simulation Station, in the chat right now. Uh, make sure you guys, if you like time lapses as much as I do, make sure you go over and subscribe to his channel. He's got some very, very, very lovely content that uh, is super relaxing. Go check them out. Simulation Station. I'm not getting the best yield in the world. Oh, it's Sunflower. Sunflower isn't a, a high yield crop. The, the harvester's filling up. I know I did everything I was supposed to do. I mulched this field. I fertilized it twice. So it should be... should be a, a good darn yield. Let me see here. We're getting about 96. It's between, yeah, it's jumping all over the place. About 96, 97%. I did forget to roll it. I think I missed the window with seasons on to roll it. The crop had already started growing. So that was the only thing we missed. Still a pretty good yield. Shabby. Don't recognize that harvester, says Ryan. It's a Gleaner. It's an N7 Series 3 Gleaner Alice Chalma. Ah, oh, look at that. I love the big old fan on the side. Nice beast. Yeah, it's perfect for this map. It just fits well. It's like it's meant to be on this map. Uh, Austin Wall, are you being funny? Uh, Pennsylvania map. 
Pennsylvania map by Bernie SCS uh, Wilt, Wilt modding. He's got his own website. PC only. Hello, Joe Wolf. There's John McKinley. There he is. He's working on a video. That's what your your lady friend said. He said you were working on a video. Oh, now she's filling up. Look at that. Almost past the, uh, the whatchamacallit. Past the whatchamacallit. Seventy-eight percent. Still got room. She got a second bearded dragon a day. So you let her get another bearded dragon to ease the pain of her not being able to get the scorpion. I see. You, you, you played your cards right. You know how to keep your wife happy. Good stuff, good stuff. You know how to make your wife happy. You're welcome, simulation. Yeah, I, I love I love all the stuff you do, buddy. Glad, glad I met you guys. You and uh, Pleasant. I'll have to uh, I'll have to just farm sometime. It doesn't have to be streaming. It'd just be fun to just farm with some uh, some knowledgeable real farmers like it'd just be cool to hang out with you guys on even if it was like on your maps just kind of helping out that'd be fun little little chit chat just some relaxing farming you know a gleaner is the cheapest combine you can buy good it was pretty cheap i didn't have to pay much for it <laughs> yeah you don't see many of them around anymore They work great, though. This one's working good. Harvesting sunflower, if you're just tuning in. He didn't let you do anything. Oh, you, you decided on that? <laughs> My wife talked me into getting over four different species of reptiles. Jeez! Well, I have a wife that loves dogs she's well we have four of them four dogs two cats so i feel you i feel you. all right we are finally full we got 8640 liters of sunflower so we need to go get a grain cart or actually i might get a chaser bin because there might be quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of sunflower to unload, and I just can't get enough of the Alice tonight. So we'll fire her up. It's an Alice party. You all should go to Pax East and Meats as Austin. If it wasn't all the way up there, they need to come down south or something. I don't want to drive to Boston or fly to Boston. When, do they ever come down south? That's what I'd like. Have a Pax down south. through my grass field because we can I own it might as well cut through it but this is the other grass field we're gonna cut tonight and uh, make some hay bales out of it how do you leave the equipment running when you get out to do that go into your options 
Go down here to the little tractor and the gear. Scroll down past seasons, past crop and growth, and then on vehicle control, see where it says automatic engine start? Turn it off. Because if it's on, no matter where you switch, if you're in the driver's seat, the engine will run. If you get out, it shuts off. But if you turn that off, your tractors continue to run, which is much more realistic. And with a lot of the maps I use, you pretty much have to let it do that because uh, I like to use a blower for a dryer, a fermenting silo. You got to have the tractor running so the blower can push up all the product into the silo. So yeah, you say? most recent version with the animated gear shifter frosty yeah but I don't do I don't I don't do the gear shifting although oh there it is yeah let's try it out here yep see the gear shifting in front of me guys right below the steering wheel Very nice. There it is. Reverse. So it's right below the steering wheel. Yeah, so that is something he... I think he just... Did he just add that today? I can't remember if he just added that today or what. But yeah, he said, make sure you check that out. And I totally forgot. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Nice extra little details there. Can almost hire a worker here. I think we've, uh, yeah, like a hired worker will do a better job than I will. Just make sure they have enough room to turn around here. It was today, I thought so. <clears throat> Chris mate, ja. thanks, Frosty. What are you thanking me for? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, yeah, you asked a question and I answered it. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> it's like, what? He messaged me at like 3 a.m. that he was excited he got that working. I forgot to look, but yes, that is awesome. And it, it looks awesome, too. He must have went to bed. He was in here for a little bit and then he, he was gone. I know the, the winter, the snow has been hitting up there, so he's probably putting in some nasty cold days on the farm and just ready to go to bed early. But uh, he was in here at the beginning, and then he, he was gone like a freight train. All right, so we'll let the hired worker finish finish doing some harvest in there. And we'll get on to some other chores. Very nice. Now what we should do is get this cut. But uh, I think first we'll go mulch. We have a field that needs mulched on the other side of town. So we'll grab the old uh, field boss here. That'll that'll get the job done for us. What's up, Black Stang? Says evening, buddy. That is a nice looking track. Isn't that thing sweet? I love it. Anything that's got the Alice symbol on it, I'm, I'm gonna try it for sure. I love it. That was one of the only tractors I've ever driven in my life. Was a, a, I think it was called a, correct me if I'm wrong, a WD-40? An Alice WD-40? That was one of the only tractors I've driven in my life. And I, I wasn't very old, but I do remember it like yesterday. Does that sound right? A WD-40 Alice? It had the uh, twins in the front. It looked like a farm all, but it was an Alice. It was old. It sounded so beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Good times, good times.
And that was actually uh, Detweiler Farm. Mr. Detweiler in the chat there, Paul, if you're listening. That's uh, Mr. Detweiler. Well, the Detweiler I knew. He had a WD-40. 45. Yeah, maybe it's a 45. WD something. I thought it was a 40, but maybe it was a 45. He goes to bed early, wakes up 2 a.m. to feed the uh, calves. Doesn't sound very fun to me. I see, yeah, that's a little early. That's too early, Mike. But somebody's got to do it, right? I ain't answering that question, Suzette. I've already an I've already answered that too many times. Did anybody find the itch.io? Any of the moderators? Were you able to find Pleasant Views itch.io? To put his link in the chat. I don't remember seeing anybody put it in there. But he does have an itch.io. Alright, so this field has been neglected for a long time. This was an old sorghum field that I never got around to cleaning up after we harvested it. So it's got big old weeds in it and old stubble. So we're just going to mulch it down, get rid of all that crap. Good evening, Buck Clark. Hello, sir. How's the, uh, did you get the 2.0 ordered? <clears throat> yeah, I really think that's what it was, uh, Mr. Clark. I think, <clears throat> I think you need more drive space. I don't think the 500 was getting it done. Thank you, Stevenson. Stevenson, you're the man. There it is, chat. If you want to go check out everything that Pleasant View provides, uh, especially Alice Chalmers tractors, he's got a few of them on that website. He's also got his harvester that you're watching me use right now. Um, just click on that link. Take it over there. You can even choose to donate. You can send him a little donation. Be like, you know what? Thanks for providing equipment that's not really out there. There's not much Alice stuff out there. Thank you very much, sir. $2, $3. You know, give him a little something for uh, taking the time to make a cool mod, you know? But yeah, that's his itch.io site. And of course, those are uh, PC mods. So, you know. Did you ever watch the guy in Ohio called the Harmless Farmer that recently passed away that farmed with no arms his whole life? I have not, Scott. Sounds very interesting, though. Yeah, I have not heard of that guy. He was from Ohio, huh? Interesting. Just like that, we mulched all that garbage out of this field. Looks a lot nicer now. We gave it a haircut. A much needed haircut. I need a haircut. My hair is getting shaggy. Miss Frosty said that today. He's like, you getting a haircut soon? You're looking a little, looking a little dirty. I'm like, dirty? What you talking about? All right, doesn't that look better? So much better. All right, so now it just needs uh, some fertilizing and, you know, all that good stuff. But we got that out of the way. One more chore off my list. Uh, when I worked on forklifts, I worked on an Alice and a Chalmers, one old, but had a Chrysler Slant 6 in it. FS22 is doing better. I will send... Oh, gosh. <laughs> you got it working a little better, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. Something, something you must have missed, huh? Something you must have missed. Oh, that looks a lot more attractive to uh, people driving by, too. They're like, finally, that guy got the weeds out of his field. That looks a lot nicer. Because it was looking a little rough. A little homely looking. You need a haircut, John? You do need a haircut. I've seen your recent pictures. You're looking a little shaggy. I'm addicted to buying NHRI diecast. Diecast, good evening. No. Uh, Sunny531, thank you for the $10 super chat. That's Sunny531. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Sunny. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much for the 
donation to the channel, support to the channel. Thank you very much. That harvester still out there working, or has he got a full tank? Oh, I still see him out there moving around. He must not be full yet. So since he's not full, we're just going to go ahead and cut this field while we're at it. Uh, but before we do that, <laughs> speaking of memory, we need to set this to be a mower instead of a mulcher. We're going to customize and turn mulcher off. It's free to do that, which is nice. Now we can cut the grass. Just like that. Because we need to make more uh, stinking hay bales. I'm putting this darn uh, field boss to work tonight. scrumptious the bat wing mower attachment this thing's awesome I love it oh, you know what we're gonna make a mess the tether we're gonna use a different tether on this field because the other tether was just kicking that stuff way out too far out so we'll see if the other tether does a little better if the other tether does a little better, you know what I'm saying? We'll see if that works, you know what I mean? Alright, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Alright, we got a we got a massive bomb in the chat from Pontus Stenberg. You crazy animal. Coming in super hot with the 100 Swedish Coronas. Says, thank you, Frosty, for your positive and warm content. Thank you for helping me feel my positive energy. That helps me feel better with my heart problem. Big warm hug from a Swedish Viking. Well, thank you very much, Pontus Stenberg, for the, uh, the very sweet, kind words there. And, uh... That just makes you so much more manly when you say Viking. He's a Viking chat. We have a Viking among us. My goodness. That's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, massive Swedish super chat. Thank you very much, sir. Glad you uh, find some joy in watching the show. Thank you. That is Pontus Sinberg. Now, when you, when you see, now from now on, I'm only going to think about Vikings when I see his name. Ragnar Lothbrook in Pontus Stenberg joining forces to take down the British army. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, love Vikings. Such a good show. I imagine you're a Vikings fan, or did you not agree with the way the show was made? Or do you think it was awesome? Because I loved it. Good stuff. Uh, do you have Discord, says Henry? I sure do. I think I have an exclamation mark Discord. If you type that in the chat, exclamation mark Discord. And it should bring up the link to join. Yep. It's a nice place to uh, share screenshots, photos. Uh, we also have... Uh, well, like if you became a Tier 3 member, that's where you would hang out with all the other Tier 3 farmers in Discord. They, they farm... Even when I'm not streaming live like on the server they are still farming there's usually two to three guys almost always on that darn farm working and just chilling out with each other in discord or just farming in general uh, do you watch Vikings Valhalla I haven't watched the new one I don't have uh, dis I don't have uh, Netflix anymore <laughs> I haven't even finished the original I'm on the final season I just haven't finished it you love the Viking series? I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Especially if you're Swedish. I bet you love it even more. That's awesome. Yeah, that's probably going to go down as one of my favorite 
TV series I've ever watched is the Vikings, the original Vikings series. Such a good show. Am I making you guys dizzy? One more swipe. The old field boss getting getting work done tonight. Right. Such a good attachment. I think this is right off the mod hub. Yeah, anybody can get the Batwing. John Deere Batwing. Right off the mod hub. Alright, so that's all cut. Uh, we are going to tether that and make a bunch of hay at some point. But uh, that harvester's got to be full. There's no way that thing's not full. Unless it's finished with the one side of the field. You should use the black tractor next. Do Ann, I'm gonna smack you. Woo, Do Ann's really stuck on using that stinking black tractor tonight. We'll, we'll use it eventually. I'll use it to do the tethering. How's that sound? He is really adamant of uh, using the black tractor. Where to park this? I have no idea. Slap it right back here for now. Go. Good enough. All right, let's run out to the uh, field. We'll take the four-wheeler for a spin. The old John Deere four-wheeler that just came out. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do on the four-wheeler. Yeah! <laughs> Gotta be up here somewhere. I bet you he just finished the field, but he's not full. What's he doing over there? He's still got, like, a whole nother swipe to do. Oh, yeah, he's full. He just never warned me that he was full. Hang on. He's almost done. 8,640 liters, another full grain tank. How's your day going? What's up, Curtis? Doing all right? Doing all right? Uh, Frosty, if we could send eggs instead of stars, would you take it? I mean, eggs are kind of pricey. So Miss, Miss Frosty would probably appreciate the eggs. She eats scrambled eggs all the time. Uh, sometimes the kids eat them for breakfast. So yeah, they, they wouldn't go to waste. He's going to smack the hair off my face, Fambooski. Yeah, I won't smack nothing. Do you always skip the winter months so you don't have to plow? I really hope Giants will bring in winter contracts. I think it would be fun and a little mix-up. It would be fun to have plowing contracts. Yeah, winter sucks on in real life and in the game. Because there's not a whole lot you can do as far as crops go and stuff. But yeah. That's usually why I skip it, because there's nothing to do. <laughs> All right, we'll get the hired worker going again, and we'll go get that uh, sunflower unloaded in the silo. Look at all that fresh sunflower. Mm, that looks good, buddy. 17,280 liters on down to the house. About to get it done. Pretty little map. So I have two choices. I can put it in the big silo, or I can put it in the one that's next to the uh, 
dairy cows. I'm gonna go with the big one to the right here because this is pretty much gonna be taken to our new pig operation. Where the heck's it all going? It must be going straight into the silo or something. Woo, that thing's unloading real slow. Is that going, that must be going right into the silo. Yeah, it's going into the silo. We're so close to the uh, trigger point, it's going right in here. <laughs> so that's what's going on there. Yeah, Curtis, yep. Do you ever give Miss Frosty a break and cook dinner? All the time, yeah, I cook a lot. I'm not too dangerous in the kitchen as long as I follow the, the instructions. If I try to get creative and do it my way, that's when the smoke alarm goes off. But yeah, if I follow the, the ingredients, the instructions, the measurements, it usually turns out pretty good. Yeah, we take turns cooking. Or if she works later, I'll I'll cook dinner for the kids and Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful November day. We're about to lose the window for harvest season too. Once you hit December, no more harvesting in farm sim. So this field's done. Get the uh, hired worker going on this side now. Uh, only thing is, probably need to widen this, this one patch on this side so he doesn't run into the fence. I think there's a fence over here. Yeah, let's just do one more. One more pass across here. We'll be good to go. Uh, is there a list of commands that starts with the exclamation point? No. I need to make one of those, like a exclamation mark commands. So it tells you what all of them are. That's a good idea. I don't, I don't have that, though. It's on my list of things to try to remember, though. Because that would be nice. <clears throat> All right, with that out of the way, we'll let them get back to work. And we are going to continue uh, working on that grass field over there while they continue harvesting. So we'll finally get that little black tractor running. All right, Duane. Chase. What's up, Elizabeth Steady? Uh, I've been watching you for an hour before I decided to say hello. Did you get my message about accidentally deleting Discord? I did not. You accidentally deleted Discord, huh? Well, then all you got to do is re-download it. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Yep. That's what you mean. Yeah, if you delete it, you just reinstall it. All right, we can finally uh, quit here and do and whine about the black tractor. I'm going to hook up to it, chat. There she is with all my other little babies. A lands. Oh, 
nice. Alright, so we need a tether. But, uh... Mm. I kind of want to use that one again. Because it's wider. It'll it'll get the job done quicker. But it was just it was kicking it all so far away from the, the field. We'll just be a little extra careful with it. That's all. Sound lovely. Right. This side I don't care about. It's the side by the fence. That's the part that's. Ooh, look, we can keep an eye on the harvester while we're doing this. Yeah, look how far it kicks that stuff out. My goodness. also have a fence over here to deal with. So we'll just try to cap or uh, capture as much as we can as we can with the uh, rake when we're done. <laughs> Look at the old gleaner out there working. Beautiful. Teamwork. Teamwork with the AI. Happy do -an. That is a sweet tractor, isn't it? The old lands. I guess that's what they called John Deere's before they were John Deere's was a lands. Is that correct? Am I, do am I saying that right, Jeff? Where's my historical farmers at? That's what a lands is, right? Like a John Deere before it was a John Deere. It was a lands, bulldog, or a lands. how it goes. I might be wrong about that. Me too, Christopher. The beast. Sounds so good. background. It's Kevin Flora's favorite song. Baptized. You're all right, BK Nation? Good, good. must be some people looking it up. They're Googling it now because I, I haven't got any answers about the lands. <laughs> uh, Sonny says, I think so. What's it called? Uh, Flores baptized something. The name of the song. Man, it's good. I love it. If I had to pick like an intro song that I always played, it would be this one. Love it. Turn down the tractor noise. The song is now. <laughs> the tractor noise is good too. I have the, I have this song on speed dial. Listen. Okay. So if I wanted to, I, I could I could just play it this way. on FS-22 or a threshing machine. Or like those viral videos of the... Uh, got like 20 guys all with the manual plows pushing the lever down into the ground with the 
big old steam tractor pulling all the plows. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, baptized and buried. That's it. Baptized and buried. Good stuff. Guys loving the uh, the old machinery tonight. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow night. I don't know which farm I want to farm on. I don't know. Deere Purchase Lands Tractor Company of 1957. So, technically, if you wanted to, you could say that Lands is like, kind of like John Deere before John Deere. Sort of, kind of, not really. John Deere bought Lands. Be cool if they still made lands tractors today. These are some cool looking machines. Alright, I think we got all the uh, missing patches, and just in time, our uh, harvester just finished harvesting the sunflower. Get this put away. We want fish sticks. That's that's Ohio Richlands. You don't want to go right back there again, do you? Just did that yesterday. I'm farming on Hagenstedt, doing a crop load of silage contracts. Hagenstedt. I've heard of it. Never used that map. I'm, <laughs> I'm tempted to do some farming on, uh, on whatchamacallit, Ashton Corners. I was going to save that for time lapse only, but man, that map is so much fun. I might have to just break down and live stream on it. There you go, do Did that fulfill your happiness? detail. Little Ford's begging for some attention too. Sure. Wind rowing, wind rowing. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's go uh, take care of the other stuff. There she is. Uh, better take care of Dewey's tractor. Ashton Corners is deer hunter. Good, it's good. Do it. Do it's a simulation. Man, that map's just so much fun keeps you busy there's just just the way it's set up all the different little things you do for making your food for the animals this keeps you busy all right harvest is done that was the last of our harvest for the season on this this map 
is we got seasons turned on. And, uh, you know, but kind of sad. It'll be a while before we're harvesting crop again, but that's okay. gallery of tractor. He locked that? They all fit up in the barn there nicely. I'm surprised they haven't all fallen through the barn floor. Because uh, that would probably be a lot of weight. That many tractors sitting in a nice wooden floor barn with dairy cows beneath it. It'd probably be fine, huh? way the uh, pipe turns over the way that does that. So cool. <sighs> I don't miss playing Call of Duty. I, I'm serious. I haven't played another game in months. A couple months. Since before Christmas, I have not played any other game than Farm Sim. Telling the complete truth. I've been eating, breathing, sleeping, living Farm Sim. I love it. I've been having a blast. I haven't really thought about any other game. That's just old hard truth right there. I've been loving it. And from what I hear anyway, Call of Duty's been broken. To where it's not even fun to play lately, so feel like I'm not missing out on that. <laughs> ah, let's bring this back to the house. See ya, Jacob. Have a good night, sir. Didn't even know you were sneaking in here. I didn't know you were in here, buddy. Hope you're doing all right, buddy. Uh, the blue one was a Ford. Yeah, we got a Ford in the shed there. That, in real life, that would have been horrible. We just put that corn at her right into the side of the uh, shed. <laughs> that would have just, bloop, went right through it. Spray that header off. Things look nasty. Let's see, what kind is the blue one? Yeah, Ford. 3,500 or something. <clears throat> we won't be seeing this harvester for a while. I'm sure she's all sprayed off nice. Alright. Kind of hard to read that. Oh, there we go. Manufactured by Pleasant View Farms. Look at that. He's even got a little sticker on his combine. All right, let's back this bad boy up. Get her parked up for the winter. Is that as low as that goes? That can't be right. We'll just disconnect it. There we go. <clears throat> and this is what we do all our other crops with. The hydrostatic John Deere. Awesome combine as well. All right, cool. All right, let's get the uh, sunflowers brought back to storage. And we need to finish making the bales. We also have some pigs. 
that we're going to go purchase for our new pigsty. We don't have a whole lot of money, though, so maybe we should sell some stuff first. We got milk we can sell, some flour we can sell. Uh, we'll make as much money as we can so we can buy as many uh, piggies as we can. Got about 6,600 liters of sunflower in here. <clears throat> Not a bad harvest. What was that all together? Two full combines? 18. That was a little over 20,000 liters of sunflower. Not bad for not very big fields. I'll take it. That's literally going right into the silo. That's what it was doing last time. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we sell Gumby? Absolutely not. Maybe you needed a door there. It looks nasty because it's been working hard in the fields. I've been one of the 225-ish watching all night. Well, thank you, Jacob. <laughs> and uh, by the way, don't forget everybody, have you hit the like button? Hit that like button if you haven't yet. Hit subscribe if you want to watch more content from uh, Big Rig Frosty Gaming. Uh, pleasure to have you here. Hope you're enjoying the show. We're on Pennsylvania map by Welt Modding Bernie. It is a PC map only. It requires the white building farm pack so you can see all the beautiful uh, barns and sheds show up you have to have that downloaded as well PC only does not work on console right so I'm gonna leave the Ford. I'm gonna let the Ford warm up there that truck while we do some other chores We've been working this uh, tractor tonight. I like it. Been working it. And we're gonna continue to work it because I've been waiting to use this thing for quite some time. We're gonna hook up to this. We're gonna run down to the grain or flour mill, grain mill. Uh, we do own the grain mill. So anytime I bring barley or wheat harvest in, I take it down there to produce pallets of flour. So we'll go snag some pallets real quick. Thank you, BK. Make a nice, nice little trail over to the uh, grain mill. Scenic route. Did you see TNT Modding is working on bringing back Bucks County, PA? Is he? I don't know if I ever got to uh, try that map out before on, on uh, what, that was on 19, right? FS19. That might have been one I never had the pleasure of trying out. All right, so we're just going to load these bad boys up right here. Hopefully more of them spawn in. Yes, yes, very nice. Will definitely give us a little boola. Oh, yep, there's a couple more. That'll be the rest of it. Not letting me load a couple more? Come on, man. Oh, yep, we got the max 12. <clears throat> Alright, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna go deliver this to the bakery. Put 
putting this Alice to work, baby. I'll tell you what. 12,000 liters of flour. That'll give us a little extra money. To uh, purchase more hogs for a hog farm. Well, Frosty, I play Farming Simulator 22 every night, and I love playing it. Same here, Daniel. Same here. I got a bunch of your videos I haven't watched yet. I should. I haven't been on YouTube in a while. Sorry. There's plenty of them to watch, BK. <laughs> yeah, I think we're getting close to like 500 videos on my channel. That's a lot of stinking videos when you think about it. My goodness, laddie. That's a lot of live streams. I mean, some of them are uploaded videos, but the majority of them are live streams. We're also about to hit 500,000 views on the channel, which is another nice milestone. Now, we may have hit it, I don't know. Today, I noticed it was at like 496. I was like, Jakes! Channel's growing. Nothing wrong with diet. So, first batch we'll bring over here. It'll probably top off the bakery and I'll have to sell the rest somewhere else. But we don't own the bakery. Ten thousand. Looks like they're gonna take all of it. Ten thousand four hundred, and then another three. So we just made about close to fourteen grand on flour. Definitely a nice help. Nice chunk of money there. Oh, whoa, whoa. What was that? What's this? I didn't know I owned the dairy. Do I own the dairy? I think I might have bought the dairy and didn't even know I owned it. Look at that. We had butter and cheese we can sell. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Where am I going to sell that at? I didn't even know I had any. Butter and cheese is not in demand, but eh, we'll sell it anyway. We'll take it to uh, we'll take it to the farmer's market. Nice! I forgot. That's where I take my milk so I can sell cheese and butter. So yeah, there are productions on this map. Uh, when did you start your channel, Frosty? I haven't, like, started heavily using it for... Ugh, what do you think, chat? Maybe I've only been full. I don't even know if I've been full time on it for a year. Have I been full time on it for one year? It's been active for two years, but I didn't use it as a full time streaming platform. Only for what about a year, chat? Something like that. I don't. I can't remember. The channel was created, and like. 2016 or something because I used to be a truck driver and I remember I uploaded one video way back well not way back 2016 I uploaded one video and I deleted that and then I renamed it Big Rig Frosty Gaming or I forget what I did it's been about eight months full time Stevie so not even a year full time uh, but we used to use this as like a late night show platform because I did it. How much did we just sell that for? I wasn't even paying attention. I think we just made about 10 grand on the cheese and beta. But uh, I used to be full time on Facebook. And then Facebook kind of did one of those things. So we came over here to be full time streamer. You know what I'm saying? I love it over here. Love it. Uh, RK Holy Cross, thank you for the two dollar super chat. Says, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Two hundred likes. Yeah. Come on, get it done. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, we just kind of chill out, have a good time over here. Um, I don't miss Facebook at all. I don't even like getting on Facebook for anything anymore. Ugh. You still truck and do this? No, I'm a full-time streamer, Jim. I've been a full-time streamer for three, about three years now. Two, two of those years were on Facebook, and then I've got about eight months here on YouTube. 
sur Ray Bobby. All right, now we're gonna go make some money with the milk. We have some milk stocked up from our dairy cows. We're gonna go, well, we're not gonna sell it. We're gonna take it to the dairy so it can keep pumping out cheese and butter. And I'm, I'm loving this tractor. I don't know about you, Simulation, but this tractor is so sweet. It's gonna look very nice on Ashton. I'm gonna put it on Ashton Corners for show. It's beautiful. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go get the uh, international milk trip. Load up some of my dairy milk. No rat. Milk, milk, milk. I think I gotta get that from over here. Uh, you out of here, watchdog? Thank you so much for hanging out as always, sir. Have a splendid evening. The farm is calling for me, guys. I'll catch you later. All right, love the photos too, BK, that you put in the uh, Facebook group. Good photos, sir. All right, milk tank is right here on the right. Just kind of pull up close to it. Load up your milk. And you can see the, the weight of the load kind of just put stress on the uh, suspension there. Almost full tank, 82%. We got 14,063 14, liters of milk. We're going to run that over to the uh, dairy production. So it can make some cheese and butter. We don't make chocolate because we don't do sugar beets or sugar cane. So we just do the butter and cheese. Do you play American Truck Sim? I used to, and I occasionally, very occasionally, I will maybe in the future, but I just have zero desire to play it right now. But yes, I do have it. And I've played it a lot in the past. Uh, that's actually the game that put me on the map as a streamer on Facebook was uh, American Truck Simulator. It's, whew, man, I, I lost I lost my love, I lost my respect for the uh, the people that make that game. I just it it doesn't sit well with me much anymore. It's uh, ATS. RK Holy Kraus coming in with the Jack Wacker Level One membership. Well, thank you very much, sir. Welcome to Jack Wacker Level 1. <laughs> Thank you, uh, RK. Appreciate you, mate. What's up, Robert Lennon? Uh, I have not played with it yet, but I plan to get it on my Richland series. Ooh, Richland. Yeah. I was just on Richland last night for four and a half hours. A four and a half hour stream. <laughs> Watch out, pedestrians. Where is the dump spot? Right over here, I believe. Or no, back here. Where do you dump the mail? Uh, maybe it's down the, maybe it's on the front of the dairy. That's just a restaurant. That's the farmer's market. I'm trying to find the uh, fill point for the milk for the dairy. There it is. On the other side of the building. Right there. Take my milk. So we won't make money off of this right now? Uh, but it will pay off later on when it makes the cheese and butter. Beautiful. Yes, I'm still going. It's only been two hours and 27 minutes. Did you wake up from your little nap? <laughs> What's going on, sir? I've been driving your tractor around for a while. 
All right, so let's go back into productions and we just added milk. So they were out of milk. Uh, that'll that'll keep them going now. That'll keep the butter and cheese producing. Good stuff, good stuff. And off we go. Yeah, I've been working that tractor uh, quite a bit tonight, sir. Thank you again for uh, letting me use it. Appreciate you. Right, chat? I've been using it a lot. I've been using it quite a bit. I even had them uh, put the mod. I had Stevie put, well, he, I didn't tell him to. He just did it. Well, I, I guess I did ask him. But he put your itch.io in the in the chat so everybody could go check out your website. All right, so the milkings are done, which means we can load up some sunflower that we harvested and get it transferred over to the new hog barn. This thing should be nice and warmed up now. We've had it running for like 20 minutes. All right, so we're taking a full load of sunflower to feed the pigs. Wheat, canola, sunflower. 32,000 liters, nice. And there it is again, thank you, Steven. Any problems with it so far? Yeah, it's little. It's a little too awesome. You know what I'm saying? It's a little too old school. It's a little too much iron for me to handle. You know what I'm saying? No, it's it's awesome. I love it. And uh, the manual shifting animations work. Yeah, it looks good. Looks very good, sir. What's up, Brian Richard? Gotta go. All right, Sonny. Sonny. Thank you for hanging out, brother. Appreciate you. And now uh, we'll try to catch you on the next one. Exclamation mark schedule in the chat. If you want to see my uh, normal schedule, if you want to keep up with it, maybe turn notifications on, all that good stuff. All right, we're heading off to one of our new animal locations. Not too far, literally right down the road here. So I had to buy this property, and it was not cheap. This was not a cheap property. I, uh, yeah. So I think we'll put the sunflower like right into the trough. We haven't went to buy the pigs yet, but we're gonna make sure they're ready for us when we, when, when, uh, you know, when they get here. Fill that up. Yeah, we'll be nibbling on all that sunflower we just harvested. That'll get them started anyway. We still have more in the silo. Wait till you see the guy shifting. It's awesome. Still tweaking, but I'm off to bed, buddy. Glad you're enjoying it. Get to bed. And thank you again, sir. We had the gleaner out there doing sunflower harvest, too. Yes, sir, Ray Bobby. I know I liked it. I think, I think the chat liked it. We had a lot of... Uh, a lot of people enjoying enjoying the uh, looks of it for sure. Only problem is we're gonna have to buy. I got I gotta watch my money. We're gonna have to buy straw. No, we don't have to buy straw. I have straw. <laughs> I have straw. So we got to get this all set up. So we'll bring this back to the house. Then I need to bring some straw bales back here because they're going to need some type of straw bedding. <sighs> I'm not sure if it's going to take a solid bale. I'm hoping it does. I don't want to have to shred the bales, but we'll see what happens. It, it'll take solid bales because the other farm up here takes solid bales. So all we should have to do is just plop it there and it should be good. And we got hay bales to make. And, 
Still got a lot of work to do, huh? For being a little farm, it's keeping us busy. Shitter down, and we need to run some uh, straw bedding over there. Would you like to play the Millennial Farmer map if it's ever redone? If it would be redone, I'd probably play it again, yes. I didn't really get to enjoy it much on FS19, because I didn't really check it out till it was almost time for the new game. So yeah, that would be a cool map to uh, check out for show. For show, man. i check it out. I think it'd be cool. What do I got hiding back here? Yeah. Oh, yes. Very nice. Let's hop into this bad boy right here. 4430 JD. We'll hook this thing up to the uh, little bale wagon. And get these ran over to the hog barn. Or pigsty. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we're, we're in need of uh, straw. That, that's not a whole lot of straw. That is what needs to take care of all my animals, which is the dairy cows and now the pigs. And winter's coming, which means we're going to probably have to buy straw bales. Can't harvest anymore. Hey, Frosty, just look. Do you have 532 right now? Oh, is it? Is it up? That can't be right. It wasn't even over 500 today. That can't be right. Unless it just never updates on my end. Because it said, like... Wow. Well, if it is, that's awesome. It's quite lovely. Yeah, the straw is not gonna last through the winter. We'll be we'll be spending some money at some point. That's the worst when you gotta buy bales. Don't you hate that? Nobody wants to buy bales. Yeah, subscribers. Yeah. I was talking about uh, views. Yeah, 496, that sounds more like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was looking at the wrong number. I, I, I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. All right, off to the pigsty. Awesome tractor, Pleasant View Farms is Tyler Lowry. Oh yeah, the the D the D twenty one. All right, here we are. So the cool thing about this is <laughs> you manually unload it, which is fine with me. I like it. I, th I think it's cool that you got to do it that way. So open cover. And then we literally have to uh, take them out. And that must not be the right place to put them. Dang it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. We just have to... Uh, It just it, it was just taking it. What's going on here? Where's this trigger point at? All right, it literally just took it. There it goes. Alright, 
see if there's a different trigger. So you got you, you got to hold it like right here, I guess. It's being real picky. working. Just kind of acting a little finicky. Look at that. It's literally in the same spot I just put it. What the heck, man? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Yeah, it's being very buggy. Taking the bales. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Come on, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get things done, man. I ain't got time for that. Ooh, wee, Bobby. Yeah, we might. Uh, for this pasture, we might end up doing getting a bale shredder because this, this is, this is rough. I don't get it. That it's it's sitting right where the other one was. Why won't it take it? Is that not weird to you guys? I mean, it's like the it's. Uh, We're not gonna get too excited. Let's see how much that gives them. I just want to give them enough to get started. Um, oh, we gotta buy the pigs. All right, cool. So let's go purchase some pigs. The steep little bump on the hill there. Park this here for now. And let's run to the animal dealer and buy some hogs. See what it says. Straw bedding is at almost 10,000. That's pretty good. Uh, bad waypoint. I'm back, by the way. What's up, Night Drown? Is it taking it? It's just going. Sl it's taking it, but no, it's not taking it either. You have to increase the time scale. Time scale. No, the, the, the spot. What are you talking about, the time scale? <laughs> Wilma. Sorry, Frosty, right now. You're good, Daniel. All right, here's our uh, power wagon. Right, let's go buy some pigs, mate. Get some pigs. This thing's even got straw bedding inside the trailer. How, how cool is that? All right, I have never been to the animal dealer on this map, so let's figure out where the heck it's at, huh? Right there. Literally go across the street. It's going to be on the left down the road. Yeah, yeah. I like that pickup truck, huh? Nice little Dodge power wagon. Stay on the road, Frosty. Stay on the road. I love the truck to accept bales faster. No, that's not what it is. Usually you just drop the bale. Uh, 0.5, increase it to one and see if it accepts. It's it's the hit point. The hit point's weird. Like I put it in one spot and it won't take it. And then the other spot, it takes it immediately. It just must be a real small hit box. 
because I've I keep it on 0.5 all the time. All right, let's load up some pigs. We're getting cheap ones too. Going as cheap as we can go. We're gonna get some jo uh, German Landris. Uh, we're gonna get the El Cheapos for two hundred dollars a head, and we'll buy twelve. We can haul up to twelve at a time. Oh, look at them oinkers! They're so happy. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, if I had whatchamacallit installed, I, c I could show you how small that hitbox is. It must be super tiny. Oop. Alright, little piggies. I will drive nice and easy for you. Don't want she falling asleep on me. combo, huh? That. All right. Come on. That was nowhere near that. All right, so I think we'll back in is the, uh, whatchamacallit, the trigger points right over there. Probably be easier to back in. Doors open. All right, get them bad boys out of here. All right, move to husbandry. Yes. Very nice. It can hold up to 108. I don't think we need to go with 108 of those. But uh, let's see here. So they have straw and they have food. It's all brand new piggies. We've got piggies on this map finally. Um, I earned it the hard way too. I did not cheat. This was all from money we sold on productions, grains we sold. We had to buy this land where this farm's at. That costs like 150 grand. And then uh, we had to buy the pigs, of course, which that was cheap. The young pigs are cheap. Yeah, yeah. There's that straw bedding is in there. That's plenty for now. We'll take care of them for a little while. So what do you think? Get another batch of pigs? Have like 24 pigs? I just don't want to have a ton. We don't, we, don't, we don't have enough resources to take care of like 50. But I think another trailer full, 24 will be a nice, a nice number. My wife said thanks for the birthday wishes. Did she have a nice birthday? I wonder why they don't allow more realistic numbers of animals in a trailer. Why? How many you think? How many pigs would fit in this realistically? You think? I don't know. I'm I'm really asking. Like, how much should fit in there? This is a modded trailer, and they're saying 12 pigs can fit in it. All right, we'll buy some, uh, we'll get some spotted ones this time. The Bentham Black Pied. We'll buy 12 of those as well. Look at them, look at them. Man, they are excited. They're so happy. Uh, and free food for the field mice. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's actually a pretty good amount of productions on this map. I don't use barely any of them. Only pr production I use is the flour mill, and I recently bought the dairy mill because I, I have milk. 
that's about it. There, there's a lot of other ones on there to use if people would want to use them. up Andrew Bedard that truck has my heart says Van Booski you like it don't you I'm not sure on a gooseneck so much but in a semi trailer I haul up to 180 290 yeah yeah this is much smaller but I I think you could put more than 12 in there I mean they're not packed in there like sardines and that's how they pack them in on a, another yeah oh yeah Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You, you could have twelve on one side. You could easily probably put twenty-five to thirty in there, huh? Of just like young pigs. Yeah, it's probably a little low number for what it should be, but it's all we can afford right now. At twenty-four pigs. Cummins power stroke under the hood. All right, get them all moved over to the husbandry. Go, empty. That is 24 pigaroos. Make sure the doors close so they don't escape. We got plenty of food, sunflower, straw bedding. We can even turn the lights on in here. Look at that. Look how happy he is. He's like, I like my new house, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 650 head, 50 pigs. What's the name of this song, Frosty? I don't stinkin' know. I don't, what, I, what, I, I don't know. You like it? I don't know what it's, I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. Sorry. This trailer will come in handy because uh, once our Angus cows are maxed out on price, which are, they're getting close, we'll be able to s trade them in for some young ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that'll bring in some good money. I never play on a map long enough to sell, like, Angus cows. I never... I'm never on it long enough to get the max price. Same with the pigs. Love the sound of that truck, though. So this will be a nice place to uh, store some bales, like extra straw bales. Eventually, I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm gonna do the shredding bale process. So I'll be spending money on a shredder soon. That'll be a lot easier than trying to figure out where those bales go. That was not working out too good. All right, we got we got a pig farm finally. Isn't that nice? That's just lovely. But we need to get these bales back to the other farm because the dairy cows need them too. That's what they originally were made for. So if we have to buy like a big round or square bale in the winter time to hold off the pigs until harvest season, then that's fine. Be all right. What is the max pounds for pigs and cows? The max prize? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know on the game. I think the Angus are they max out at 3,500, but that's not including like a modded map. A modded map might do it differently. The pigs, I'm not sure on the beef cattle, says Whitney, but with the pigs, they max out at 24 months and bring 1,200 apiece at 100% health. Nice. 
So 1,200 a piece. So we just bought those for 200 a piece. 24 months from now, as long as they're in good health, they'll be worth 1,200 a piece. That's a good uh, turnover rate right there. Making some boobla. Yeah, I think the Angus max out at 3,500. Could be wrong though. It's just a shot in the dark. Ooh. Yeah, I'll show you how easy it is on this side. The cows over here, they immediately take those straw bales. So they probably need at least a few to top them off. Yeah, you literally drop it, boom, gone. Something with the pig one's just not working right. See? That's how it should work. Even that one I threw over here and it still took it. That means they are full. Yes. Beautiful. So here's what it looks like when the uh, straw bedding's topped off. Look at it in there. Beautiful. The whole floor is covered in it. Good stuff. I even got some leftovers sitting in here. Goes in there. Bam, bam. Yeah, I, I, I make Miss Frosty put her boots in here because they reek. I'm like, keep those away from the house. Thanks, Mama. All right, let's put the chain back up. Bada bing, bada boom. Bales are done. Still snowing here? Is it still snowing, Paul? Not if you figure in how much they eat for the pigs. They eat 600 liters of food for every 10 and usually take up all your crop to feed them. It's true. But we don't think about the negative part. <laughs> but you are right. That sunflower we harvested could have went towards something else, like sunflower oil. But hey. You gotta provide that meat, or America will just crumble to pieces. If they don't have their 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 meat, they will. Mm, 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 mm. They gotta have it. All right, so that chore is complete. Old John Deere's done for the night, I think. We need to finish the darn uh, hay. We gotta get that hay windrowed and bailed. All right, let's uh, take this old guy for a spin. This is another John Deere from uh, EY Modding, which we, I think I showed you guys this the other day. Pretty fresh out of the kitchen, too. Get some wind rowing done with it. Ooh, I hope that wind rower can handle it. Probably won't. A little big. Eh, yeah, it's not even set up for that. I don't think it has enough power anyway. Dang it. We'll have to switch it up. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, sir. Gotta have that bacon. Uh, fire up them snowmobiles. Look at this little uh, vintage antique planter I have set up for this thing. <laughs> Look at that. Look how little that thing is. Old school. So that was a strikeout. How much horsepower do I need for that thing? 45 horsepower. So pretty much almost anything can pull it. Maybe we'll do, uh, uh, yeah, we can do David Brown. 
We haven't ran David tonight. David needs to get warmed up. Make a little ride. Got all our old tractors tonight. Use the Ford. Eh, we could have, yeah. I think, da I think Davey wanted some attention. I like Davey. Yeah, this will work good. A little after 2 o'clock in the game. It's that time of day where the, at least in the game, it just the, the lighting starts to slowly get a little darker. Not as bright as when we first went live. Right. Try to catch all of that hay that got spit out by the fence. Probably won't be able to grab it all. I'm going to try. Slam right up against the fence. Ooh, the telegram pole's uh, static, though. Stevie's telegram pole. Steerman, you, what are you doing right now? You on the farm? Be watching races. I ain't gonna be better. Right back at it. Actually, they're gonna do one more turn here. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to turn around. What fence? Don't hit my telegram pole. I was trying not to. Doing both. All oh, multitasking tonight. Nice. Fence, you little butthole. There we go. Mm. Wiggly, wiggly, making a hot mess. Big old, big old crooked lines here. <laughs> I know CBW Farms just saw him in Bruce's gaming stream. Bruce's gaming stream. Oh yeah. I don't know who that is. Too much focus to uh, rake. I don't. I don't have enough focus. <laughs> Difficult. I'm not that guy that makes the fancy lines all even. Mine. Mine's. Mine's just a big mess. A little better at it though, I guess. <clears throat> I 
He has some pretty good streams, and his real farming content is pretty good also. I'll have to check him out. Yeah, this is something I need to brush up on is I want I want to get better. I want to be I want to make nice neat Winrose Someday someday I'll be a good wind rower man It's not yet not today Sonny not today uh, there's a PC only mod for a slaughterhouse out there somewhere. I saw CBW Farms using it the other night. Uh, there was a slaughter farm on a couple maps I've been on in the past. Uh, the one was FS19. Uh, what the heck was that one I loved using? It had the. Mm. Couldn't tell you the name of the map if I had it. If I, I, I can't even think of what it was called. It was made by Mr. Hector, and it had the slaughterhouse took your your meat there well you took your animals there and then they they turned it into meat pallets and then you'd sell it at the store man that was a good slovak village that sound right slovak village map slovak village i don't know why that just popped in my brain does that sound right slovak village by mr hector Slovak Village. I don't know if that was it or not, but man, that was a sweet map. Good map. I haven't heard anything from Mr. Hector. I don't know if he even mods anymore. I haven't seen anything from him for uh, FS22, but he made some good stuff on uh, 19. Slovak Village, yes! See? My memory works! Sometimes. I thought that sounded right. It had the mine. Yes, the mine was awesome. It, it, that was a good map. Very, very good map. Slovak Village. That would be a... Hmm. That'd be a fun map for him to uh, convert to FS22, but I, I doubt he's doing that. I could be wrong. You never know. All right, David Brown did a very nice job. Now we gotta do some bailing. We'll bail with the Ford. Ford hasn't got any love tonight. That's the 8630 Ford. Should have no problem pulling the baler. I'm hoping it won't. I think it's on the mod hub. What's on the mod hub? Slovak Village, is it? <clears throat> that is only way I would get pigs, says Luke. Uh, yeah, Slovak Village, that's definitely not on the mod hub. Yeah, I haven't heard anything from Mr. Hector for FS22. Slovak Village? I don't know what you, Yeah, Andrew, if you're talking about Slovak Village, it's for FS19, and it's a PC map only. Yes, sir, Bobby. If it was on FS22, I would already been... I've already used it, and I know it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not. All right, drop it like it's hot. Let's get bailing. Yeah. I'll drop it, baby. That's right.
Nice interior in this tractor as well. Clumpy, clumpy. This is hay. Yes, Andrew. Making hay bales. My uh, Angus cows ate all the other ones from the other field we made tonight. So we had to do the other field. The only, that means we're out of grass. We only own two grass fields. And after we bale this all up, it'll be all done. We'll have to wait a few months for it to grow back, which it won't because we're in seasons. The grass doesn't grow in the winter time. So we will be waiting a little bit. I'd have to purchase bales at some point. Mm -hmm. Am I putting you to sleep, Matthew? Mission accomplished. So just make leave leave your device on while you sleep. <laughs> I'll get all my watch time from uh, Mr. Vanderwall falling asleep. That's funny. You're funny. How you guys like the Ford? Pretty nice, huh? Shabby. We broke 200 uh, reactions. We got 202 viewers, and we got over 200 reactions. Thank you so much, everybody. You guys have been doing quite splendid at breaking 200 for the last, I don't know how many nights in a row. I appreciate that. Hopefully you've enjoyed the show. It's tried to be a relaxing show tonight school equipment, you know. Two hour fish video, nice. <sighs> Big Daddy Bim Bam Frampton. Bim Bam Frampton Bam 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 I'm going to try to get my survival video edited tonight so it's ready for Saturday. That's what I'll be doing after the show. We're probably going to finish up this uh, field chat and get the bales cleaned up and put away. And that will probably be it. But that's going to take at least a good 20 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes. Good. Definitely getting more bales out of this field than the other one. This is about twice the size of the other one, though. I need to get that mod that gives you the different textures for the bales. Like, it does the uh, different colors. I keep forgetting to... Uh... Or you know what? I might have it installed. I wonder if I have that installed. There's a certain... Hmm. Reset bale, change bale size, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, maybe I don't. But there's a mod on the mod hub where you can change the colors of the bales. You can put, like, cool uh, twine on it. Just looks a lot nicer than the, the end game ones. I need to do that. It'd be nice to have a variety of bales looking different. 
just can't get myself to buy a farm sim. Well, why the heck not? What you mean you can't get yourself to do it? I reckon you'll love it. You just give it a chance. Oh, yeah, you'll love it. Super relaxing. Hey, Frosty. I'm trying a new map. Ballum Road. Ballum Road. Oh, what's that say? Ballum Road. I can't even find your comment. Hey, Frosty. I'm trying a new map. Ballum Road Dairy Farm in England. Is that the one they just added to the mod hub today? They added a couple one, a couple new maps. The one looked like it was a, another Brazilian style map. Set in like Brazil. Had the red dirt, kind of reminded me of the uh, Reconto map that some of the guys we used for, uh, for the PC. How do you know you don't even play the game, WD? <laughs> You're funny. Uh, I just can't get $712,000 on the member's farm. Jace. So you're telling me I need to go shopping? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? I know you do some shopping. Oh, you really like watching it. That's true. That's true. So you watch it so much, you, don't, you have no desire to buy it. You'd rather watch it. That's fine. I see how, I see how it is. Yeah. You enjoy it enough to watch it. You don't need to really uh, buy it and play it. You just keep watching it. All right, my darn music turned off. We got a $50 super chat from the question asking son of a biscuit licking jack whacking hillbilly, Kevin Flores. Says Frosty, I'm glad you're averaging 200 plus locks and viewers lately. Was it a hard decision to dedicate you did? Was was it a hard decision to dedicate your career to one platform? Yes. Was it a family decision? Yes. I can't believe I came across you when you were a rookie. Still holding strong. Yeah, you've been here a pretty good while, Kevin. Been here a pretty good while. I don't think you would. Uh, Kevin wasn't here when I was a rookie. Where'd that come from? I don't think you were here when I was a rookie. You haven't been here for three years, have you? There's no way. I don't think you've been here that long. But I still feel like I'm a rookie. Uh, thank you so much, Kevin, for the $50 super chat. Yeah, of course. That was a huge decision, uh, leaving Facebook. Like, yeah, it's scary because you don't know if it's going to work or not. <laughs> yeah, that, that was not a fun decision because I didn't know what the future was going to hold or because you hope a lot of people will come with you from the other platform which thankfully a lot of you did but a lot didn't also now, there's a lot of people that to this day don't even know that I went somewhere else they just think I quit <laughs> uh, since 2020 what was can you remember Kevin what was the first ever stream you watched of me? What game was I playing? What was what like what was happening? The first ever stream you turned in you tuned into. Do you remember? Do you remember? I gotta get my darn music back on. I know exactly why it stopped playing, because I forgot to view more. There we go. That should be back to uh, some tunes for us. I remember you playing ATS all the time. I did play ATS all the time. <laughs> He's been here just as long as me. Three years, says Vambuski. Really? He's asked... Uh, now, here's the bigger question. How many questions do you think Kevin has asked in three years? If we only had a stat tracker, could you imagine? The amount of questions he's asked in three years. Have a good one, Jeff. <laughs> now that would be a statistic. Yes, yes. 
Uh, ATS, Dave the Diver version. ATS, Dave the Diver version. Yeah, it just... I don't know. It seems like you haven't been here from the beginning. But if you say three years, I believe you. You have better memory than I do. I think anybody in the chat has better memory than I do. So I guess you're uh, considered an OG. You've been here for three years. You're an OG in the chat. Or if you've been with me for three years, that means Facebook and then moved over here. So that's... Uh, Hardcore dedication right there. I'm just looking for some little bits that I may have missed, which I know I have. We're at, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to make another bail. Hang on. Hoping we could. Good amount out there. It pretty good. Frosty, I found you when you had the International Farmer on YouTube, and I had to create a fake Facebook account to watch you. Glad you made the ho hop over to YouTube. Really enjoy the streams. Well, thank you, Chumpy. Uh, Van Booski looked it up. There was 1,535 questions. And uh, Chase Weevil says he, at least 2,500 I'm still a supporter on Facebook. You need to cancel that. I, I urge everybody to cancel that. Yeah, if you're a supporter over on Facebook, you might as well cancel that. I, I don't plan to do a live stream over there ever again. So, but I, I have been pushing out my videos. So anytime I make a video or a time lapse or my survival series, I upload it separately to here and I upload it separately to there keep the channel rolling over there just in case someday in the future something bad happens on this platform which I pray it never does but you just never know you never know so of course that would be a, a backup plan that I hope I never need to use I really don't want to use that as a backup but if you've been wondering why the videos have been going up over there, that's why. I figured, why not? Might as well put it over there, too. Channing, Buck. Buck's been there for three years. Have I? How long have I been streaming? Like, I don't even know how long I've been streaming. I can't even remember that. Have I been streaming longer than three years? I, I don't know. <laughs> Can you go live on Facebook one time? No. Why would I want to do that? Don't you still have Twitch? Unfortunately. it's. I mean, my name's there, but that's about it. Yeah, Twitch is... Uh, I wasn't, yeah, Twitch was not for me. Twitch was more for uh, Deep Creek Ranch. I think he was. I think he likes Twitch, but I nah, not as much. <laughs> Started watching streamers because of Snowrunner, but have stuck with you because of FS22. Glad you transitioned to that permanent. Well, thanks, AJ. I'm just happy. I'm, I'll just be playing straight on us. I I get joy from playing this game. It's relaxing. It's laid back. I don't stress out over it. It's just fun. And now, as much as I enjoyed playing 20 different games in a month like I did before, it was stressful setting them all up and trying to make good content out of some games that were trash. But I'd try my best to make it seem like it was fun. Um, it just got too old for me. I'm in my element now. I love I love doing the farming. I think we need an automatic bale trailer. I mean, we don't need it. Ah, what do you think? It wasn't that bad loading it up manually, huh? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Just means you gotta spend more time with me right now. Because it'll just take a little longer to get them all put on a trailer. That's how. 
gives us more reason to uh, hop back into this tractor once again. We've been driving this a lot tonight. Over 45 minutes has been on this tractor during the stream. Not bad, not bad. Must mean I like it. I was almost two years followage before you left Facebook. Now another year and a half here. So we're actually close. Oh yeah, so, well, we got a ways to go, but October would be four years. October this year will be four years. I'm losing track of time, chat. Nobody's gonna care anymore. I mean, once you get past like a couple years, like, ah, who cares? Just another year. <laughs> Really got the laughs when you did the vortex, love the the polar vortex. Drive like a psycho. Yeah, that was fun for a little while, but I, I overdid it. I did it way too much, and then it became uh, not good. All right, we'll use John Deere again, because that tractor just does good for uh, loading up bales. Just got to remember where the heck I parked it. Where the heck did I park that tractor at? Anybody remember? I have no idea where I parked it. Oh, it's over by the mixer. It's over by the mixer. There it is. At least... I didn't leave it running. Good. Thought I left it running that whole time. thrown on the wagon. <clears throat> uh, when I started watching you, you still had a job, says Duan. Yep. So I was still working, working, and I, so I back then I would stream... What, like 11 o'clock in the morning or 12 o'clock lunchtime, I think it was? And then I'd go to work. Or something like that. I'm trying to remember how I did that. Yeah. I'd stream like 11, 12 o'clock lunchtime. And then I'd... I work night shift. I remember those days. Woo, Bobby. Have a good one, Luke. You have frost. You have my memory, Tony. Whew. I feel bad for you, man. It's it's horrible. It is not good. Come on, man. Scoop it up. <clears throat> no, Scott. Nope. <laughs> I don't miss it at all. <laughs> no. I only did that to put food on the table. I never, like, wanted to be a truck driver. I just... At the time in my life, it was uh, the best way to make money right then, right now, and that's why I got into it. There's parts I loved about it and parts I absolutely couldn't stand. That's any job, I think. Like, this job is a dream job. I play, I play games for a living. I mean, my goodness. That's, uh, that's a dream job, if you ask me. 
Uh, the the only thing I would probably say I uh, dis dislike about being a streamer is the r not never knowing how you're gonna do financially. Like it's kind of a gamble. But I've learned to uh, just you know go with the flow flow with it. And also all of Deep Creek and Vambuski's song re song uh, quotes. That's a little hard. That's a little hard to stomach. Woo, man, all those song quotes make me want to just... Mm. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't care. <laughs> I remember the Farp streams when I first started watching, says Natron. Uh, the same started watching a little bit before you went to full time, says Chase. Uh, what else, what else? Drive like fire slaying. Nah, I don't know if that's a good idea. You have helped me a lot, brother, and I always love watching you all the time. You're an amazing stream. Thank you, Janet. Stop it. Oh, and speaking of, uh... Um... We were talking about... Mr. McDaniel. We were talking about... What we were gonna maybe do. I've decided... Uh, we're not gonna do anything. And some of you might think that sounds horrible. But, uh... He literally sent messages to Poto saying, I want zero pity... I don't want money, I don't want charities, I don't want anything, I don't want anybody pining over my death. I just want to be remembered for the good times and for people to smile when they think about me. That is all I want. And he literally sent those messages to Poto and Poto showed me the messages and that just kind of put the, just kind of set it into stone. I'm respecting what Tim wanted, and that's to not make a big deal out of everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm not gonna go any, I'm not going forward with any of the ideas I had talked about. That's the way he wanted it. He just wants to be remembered for how awesome he was, which I don't think any of us will forget that. So that's that's what I'm doing. So if anybody was wondering what we're gonna do, that's what I'm doing. Is, uh, remembering him being a positive force in the chat. Always making people smile. <clears throat> See the way I'm loading these chat? So they don't roll off the wagon. We gotta flip them off. Flip them upside down and then poke them and shove them in there. Come out. Uh, I'm a union steel worker. I make a good living for my family, but a lot of sacrifices working all three shifts and missing a lot of time at home, especially with the kids. That's, that's what the truck driving did to me. I, I just... Once I got out of driving, I, I knew I'd never want to go back. I'll find something else. If streaming wouldn't have worked out, I would have just kept doing the job I was doing before I went full-time streamer. And I won't be able to go back to that. I took a huge risk. I uh, gave gave up a, a real good job because uh, streaming was doing better. So it was a huge uh, life decision moment to uh, give that job up, but it felt right, and here we are today. Here we are today. I'm getting pretty good at this right here, I'll tell you what. I almost look like I know what I'm doing. What do you think, chat? That's not a bad load job right there. I reckon that, dick's, that looks pretty good. We made a lot of bales. How many's on there? Two, four, six, eight. We got two down here, 10. We got one sitting back there. We made 11 hay bales. That is mighty fine if I do say so myself. Switch screens. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good, man, basically, huh? This is, this is my dream here. If I ever became a real farmer, this is all I'd really want to do. Is cut grass and make bales. <laughs> That's, like, the extent of real farming that I'd want to do. I would just love it. And just, uh, set, set, sell, sell the bales I make to the local farmers. That would be my, my little farming dream. Have some some acreage for some nice grass fields to tend to and take care of. Bada bang, bada boom. That'd be it. That'd make me happy right there. The stuff here is the most relaxing part of the game to me, is the manual stuff. I know it might be a little hard for you guys to watch, like doing things manually because it takes more time, but man, that's the pleasure I get from it, is knowing that I stacked them bales. I did that myself. It looks all right. Uh, what's up, Kyle Walters? Thank you for the $5 super chat doing well there, sir. It is Kyle Walters. We can make that happen. And you inspired me to start streaming too, brother, and love doing it. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, true that, true that. Lost for life by hard to stomach. Mama Union, the first time you were playing ATS and I asked your name, says Scott Brown. Oh, my real name? Stop calling me Matt. person. I'm really showing off, huh? Really showing off. I can't strap this load, and I think it's because I, it's set for auto bail. <laughs> uh, so I can't put straps around this. But that looks alright. I think I did a pretty good job, Rodar. Not bad. That is looking good. That's about 4,500 liters per bale. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven 10. 11 times 45 is a lot. 4,500 times 11. I don't know what that is, but it seems pretty good. That's how, that's how much uh, hay we just brought in from that one field. Stop calling me Matt. See, I got that cup, Red Acres. Or not Red Acres. Not that. But there it is. Stop calling me Matt. Stop calling me Matt. I drink out of that every day. I wash it too, don't I? I do wash my cups. Scrub them with soap. Look at that slurry shining. Oh, yeah. Shining. Shining back like a diamond. So, our Angus cows, they took all the hay bales at the beginning of the show. Um, all right, they're good. So, th so they, okay. We had some leftovers we threw in the mixer. So all these bales here are extra, which is beautiful. This is all extra stock. Very nice. So we'll get these stored away. I have a little area I like to store bales in. Right over there is where I store the bales. All right, so we'll fire up the little uh, John Deere here and get those thrown in here real quick. What's 
up Aurelian the Dark One. Hello. You inspire a lot of people, my friend, including me. I've said it many times. I appreciate John, I need to watch your darn video, too. I've just been... The day was swamped. I, I just... I didn't have time, brother. But I am going to watch it. I'll try to watch it before I go to bed tonight. How's that sound? But I have not watched it yet. I apologize. Yeah, today was a, one of those busy days. Away basketball. Like, all my son's away games are a hike. Like, it's a drive. It's like an hour drive. And then you go eat dinner afterwards, and it, it just ends up being like a four or five hour ordeal. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's, let's do these front. I'm going to try to unload this whole thing in first person. Got to get the ball rolling on getting this stuff cleaned up. Double time. See how fast we can do this. 11 bales. How quick we can get them unloaded. Reach that. There we go. On the other side. Precision. You keep hitting that wall or you're not gonna have a spike left. I know, smacking it, okay? It's just not gonna be very sharp anymore, all right? <laughs> I didn't say it was gonna be pretty. We'll get them stacked in there. All right, now we'll, uh, we'll offset stack them. doing it looks pretty good good evening Rhett acres how did the game go did they lose <laughs> like yes all right you little butt come out This is really being a pain in my bow tie. You want to play like that, huh? I'll see how it is. There you go. What I was trying to do. That's enough first person view. We'll, we'll do the rest in uh, third. <laughs> yeah, my cotton's ready to harvest. Nice, boy, nice. Guess what? They won five to zero. That's not even a win, that's a blowout. That's uh, almost a skunk. Isn't seven to zero called a skunk? Five to zero. They must have been, the other team must not have showed up. Was it like nobody there? It's crazy, man. 
know if this thing can reach top shelf. Yes, it can. <laughs> My nice little design. That's just lovely. Five to zero. Jabaluni, my dear, but the What are you saying thank you for? What did I do? Did I do something? Uh, hat trick, turkey. Uh, what else? Guess what? They won. Can I play FS22 without extension controllers or steer? Oh, I didn't see your question there, J uh, Jabaluni. Jabalani. Jabalani? Jabulani. Yeah, you can play mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard, or you can use a controller, you can use a wheel, you can use a button box, you can use uh, Xbox controller, PS4 controller, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, mouse and keyboard works fine. I'm actually using a steering wheel right now, and my mouse, the mouse is what's controlling the spike. Go on the other side. Yeah, so all my movements are done with the mouse, but the steering is with the steering wheel. Which I used to be hardcore controller, but now, now I've just find found it easier to use the. Uh, the mouse for all my movements, for all my everything, forestry, uh, telehandlers, skid steer, wheel loaders. This seems smoother with the mouse, which I never used to feel that way, but all of a sudden it just seems better, you know what I'm saying? How's that not reaching that? Come on, mate. I need a bigger spack. Finally unloaded, my goodness. It took a minute. And that is a beautiful design. I, I mean, that looks nice. I did that. See? I did that, chat. I stacked them like that. Do you like it? <laughs> All right. We got that done been live for three hours 46 minutes i need to get my darn uh, survival video edited so it's ready for saturday um that's probably gonna do it for tonight's live show i think we cleaned up everything pretty much just got to get the john deere put away that we uh left out in the grass field Look at the puddle. Yeah, we got the pigs up and running. We we bought 24 uh, porky pigs and got them a little bit of straw bedding and we harvested sunflower, got them fed. I'd say we've been pretty busy tonight. Been keeping this uh, new tractor working hard on the farm. Thank you again, Pleasant View, for uh, letting me test run the old D21 Alice. Very cool tractor. Definitely enjoyed using it. Shined up for next time. Need a bigger SPAC. I know. Did I miss the new tractor, or did you keep everyone waiting? In? Oh, I, it's right here. You're looking at it, Rhett. This is the one. Yeah, I, I worked the crap out of it. Prob almost an hour of content. Almost an hour of the show I was using this tractor the whole time. Like off and on. Yeah, very nice tractor. And it's sitting next to its big brother. There's the 8070. That's also by Pleasant View. Alright, let's.
Let's go clean up a little bit. There she is. What do you think, Rat? You like it? Good night, Frosty. Great. Thank you, Justin. Hey, Frosty, you did an awesome job tonight. I love watching your stream. Have a good night. Daniel Ricard, you have a good night, Sam. And thank you for the sweet, loving words. Very nice of you. <laughs> thank you. The, uh, other than that, we're pretty much cleaned up. Let's put this in the garage. We had all the tractors working tonight. I think I had almost every single tractor doing... S we did something with almost every tractor. We might have left a few stranded, but other than that, we had everything running. Love the field, boss. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. We'll go say hello to the, uh, the pigs real quick. For anybody that missed most of the show, we did finally uh, buy pigs. I've never used the pigs on this map. So it was fun getting those all squared away. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go visit them real quick before we end the show. So yeah, we harvested two decent-sized fields of sunflower over there tonight. Cut that grass field. We cut the other grass field at the very beginning. Uh, did some mulching. Did some manure and fertilizer. We sold flour. We took milk to the dairy. Sold cheese and butter. We did good. What's up, Bubba? Bubba unleashed. Uh, seeing as you are getting ready to end the stream, I will say good night to you, Frosty, and your chatters. Good night, Elizabeth. And thank you, Elizabeth, for the five pounds. Coming in with the GG. The five pounds from Elizabeth Sturdy. Good night and sleep tight. Or good morning. It's like morning for you. <laughs> Have a good morning as you go to sleep. See you later, Elizabeth. All right, so this is our new uh, pig operation. We bought 24 pigs, and all that sunflower we harvested, we pretty much filled them up with food. They should be good for a good while. And uh, we got their straw bedding started. I wouldn't say full, but we got some straw bedding in there so they can produce uh, slurry, and I don't think they produce manure on this one. I could be wrong. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't think so, though. It just produces slurry right here. Yes, very nice. And if I wanted to store grain, like things to feed the pigs, that's what this is for. I can store pretty much every crop except oats, because they don't eat oats. Yeah, very nice. But I hope you enjoyed the show, guys. It's going to do it for me. Have a good one. Red Acres, Kevin Flores, Bubba, New Iron Biker, and Elizabeth Sturdy, Kevin Flores, Mickey Trema, Josh Stearman, all my moderators. Thank you so much for always helping out, helping people in the chat. Stevenson always putting those websites for the different modders that are part of the community and helping out and giving us mods to test out and have fun with. So uh, thank you for all the help. Thank you, guys. Uh, we will catch you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm not 100% sure what we'll be doing, like what farm we'll be on. I'm not sure yet. It's going to be uh, whatever I have the itch for when I wake up in the morning. But I'm going to go work on the survival video right now. Get it edited. I already recorded it. Just need to edit it. Add some nice tunes and 
speed up the time lapse areas and all that. Uh, have a good one. Catch you on the next one. Thank you so much. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming signing off. Goodbye.